Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? What's up, Pudgy? What's up, Rick, Patrick, Jay Dandy, Broadford? I've got a um, North High, the final countdown double IPA that Brad V brought over. <laughs> that I can hear you cracking in my mic from the Discord. But hey, Sean, how's it going? <laughs> What's up, Roger? Oh, I got a little foam mustache. For some reason, my camera will not autofocus tonight. It just stopped, so I have it just focused here so apparently that's how it's going to be maybe this is actually better because when i do want to show stuff i don't have to do the whole pathless pedal put the hand up hey what's up large marge so i saw some of you hey what's up william patrick did i already say hi to patrick i thought i did maybe not i was just looking in the discord at his drink actually that's what it is uh brewed ipa from ska brewing i've heard of ska brewing before where are they durango I don't know if I've ever had their stuff, but I've definitely heard of them because obviously that name stands out. I haven't had a brewed IPA in a while. They they were kind of like that real quick trend right before Hazy's took over. Like everyone started doing brewed IPAs. I I thought they were cool, kind of like real champagne-y um, kind of flavors. Let's see JMZ looks like he's drinking a High Life. Got a little ride into, or is that yeah the ride with the trailer? Large Marge has a Taft, Taft's Nelly Lemon Frosty Ale. He said in honor of Brad. Do you have a Taft's connection, Brad? Only with other brands. Ah. Oh, no, that's Cincinnati. That doesn't have anything to do with other brands. <laughs> they want your, uh, they're saying your volume's too low. Oh, my volume's too low. I might have this set up for the basement still. Oh, yeah, it has turned way down. All right. It's actually turned way down on the software, not on the mic. Let me know how that is. Oh, geez. Well, you guys are commenting a lot already. <laughs> it's up, JMZ. No, yeah, it was way too low. Yeah, got it fixed. Thanks, Dylan. How you doing? Yeah. All right. Let me know if that's better. He's a lemon man. Oh, yeah. It's because it's a lemon beer, Brad. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely. Jeff Lemon, man. <laughs> Day after gravel voice. Um, <laughs> I could hear you talking in the Discord with my headphones on, so I could hear your real voice and the Discord voice, and I'm getting this crazy echo. I need to pull those off till we actually talk. But now uh, Patrick said the volume is good now. Was that uh, whose coffee was that? Oh, it's Rick's doing a oh French press. I hope Molnar's not in here. I'm gonna talking to. Uh, Trogue's Joyous IPA. Nice. I've had a lot of Trogues, but I've never had that one, I don't think. Audio's perfect good. Yeah, I don't know why I had it turned down so low. What I was, whatever I was doing. Testing something, probably. Well, I saw some of you guys posted some St. Patrick's Day photos, too. I, of course, got completely out of hand. Had to be picked up. Well, I was looking at Patty, uh, laugh, kind of laughing here. That Patty's saying it's 4 o'clock, you know, and having his first beer because I had my first beer with Large Marge and Bob Darrow at 8.30 a.m. at our bridge. So, and that, you know, most of the day went pretty good. I uh, sat on a couple patios, but at the end, I think I got a little too buzzed. Uh, it's, you know, where it kind of sneaks up on you um, because that was going all day. And had to get a ride home, and now I can't find my GoPro. So I filmed a St. Patrick's Day ride video. Let me get this. But the problem is that memory card had three other rides on it that I was going to make into one video about my different bikes, which if it doesn't turn up, I don't have that. So I, I'm i hoping autofocus probably wasn't working because your volume was too low. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm hoping that the GoPro still turns up. Uh, it could be in here. I could have set it somewhere stupid. Um, whatever. I ordered the 9 with expedited shipping today because I'm like, 
I can't do anything. I can't make videos and stuff like that until I get it back. So if it turns up, I'll have two. Um, and then maybe I could do some double, um, some rides with two perspectives, which I've always kind of wanted to do. And I thought I would do with my GoPro Hero 5. But once I got used to the 8, I really couldn't use the 5 because I just didn't like the stabilization look and all that. So anyways, I... Um, Ordered the 9, and I'm going to have the 9. I didn't want to upgrade. I was going to try and hold off a year, skip a generation, and get the 10, but it is what it is. Yeah, I only have a 1,000. Hey, what's up, D'Amico? Yeah, it's, is it on this shelf, and I'm just not seeing it? <laughs> then, uh, yeah, frustrating, but it's my own fault. I'm an idiot, so... <laughs> Um, oh, I was going to, oh yes, we, since we did end, end the stream, uh, last time talking, well, about moose and vaccinations, I actually got really lucky. Molnar messaged me and she said that a hospital in Boardman, which for those of you who aren't from Ohio is like near Youngstown, like a suburb by Youngstown, about, about 45 minutes away, maybe. Um, I signed up for a COVID, uh, vaccine and I got one. I had to keep picking times. They were like literally disappearing between the time I would do the drop down menu and click on it. It would be gone. So uh, I ended up getting one for 1130 on Tuesday, which I can't believe because, you know, Ohio opens up for 40 and older and I'm 42 tomorrow. And I was actually able to schedule one already. So I'm super stoked. I don't know which one it is or anything um, about that yet, but I got it. And then I called Aaron and I'm like, did you get yours? And she said she didn't sign up because she was going to coordinate. And then by the time she did, they were all gone. So I feel bad that I got uh, her spot. <laughs> but <laughs> Cavity search. <laughs> well, uh, my one friend, uh, Bob Darrow, who said he's in the streams, uh, sometimes chats, sometimes watches the next day. He met me and been outside, large Marge, and I asked him when he saw me had it last, and he said I did have it at the last place we were, but then when someone showed up to pick me up that I apparently wasn't too happy about the thought that um, I needed to be rescued, uh, <laughs> he said I rode around the back of the barn, sat down in a flower bed, so I need to go check that flower bed tomorrow. <laughs> 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 so... Uh, But what did Roger say? Someone is chatting and Tim's GoPro is filming it in some pub bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did I miss with the... Uh... Don't put the space after the comma? Oh, Marion, Ohio. Uh, yeah. Huh, interesting. Yeah, um... <laughs> the reason, Rick, that's even funnier than the joke you intended, because Brad had just told me that um, the ride got called not really because of me, but because of the person I was with. And they had said, where am I when we were sitting at the table? <laughs> that's why our friend decided they better make a phone call. And then by the time that ride got there, it was like, oh, we need to get this guy out of here, too. So... <laughs> You know, well, I, my friend, my friend Wes, who is the bartender at a bar called The Matinee, used to always call me the king of St. Patrick's Day, so I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for this, Brad? Might as well pull you in here. I, that's pretty much all I had to say. Let's see what happens. Oh, Sean, you got an appointment for Monday? Nice. Yeah. Oh, you didn't get Super Chat? Uh, Large Marge says we didn't get Super Chat audio. Hmm. Oh, desktop audio is off. Dang it. Sorry. I think I turned that down during the... I have my mic set so it could be on during the piddle break, and I think I turned that down, so... 
All right, Super Chat audio is on now. Sorry about that, Rick. <laughs> Super Chat, I have to say. <laughs> now I can't hear you. Can't. You can't hear me? No, did I? I uh, well, let me, let me get you. Oh, you have me in co-hosts. Yeah, I pulled you over too, yeah. <laughs> Rick said he got the super shaft. Uh, super shorted. <laughs> All right, Rick. I, I'll buy the first round uh, when we get a meet in person. How about that? Anyway, so some of you guys know B Vixer IRL. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'll just mess up and keep calling him Brad. Uh, just like I call Large Marge Ben over and over again. But so me and Brad met out on a bike ride, right? Yeah. I think we met before that, but we never, our Venn diagram of friends overlapped. Hmm. I'll, I'll pull you in here if we're going <laughs> to. Yeah, but I kind of really met Brad on a bike ride because one of our mutual friends that he worked with brought him out on one of our rides which is a story in its own. So I'll pull him into <laughs> so, oh, yeah, let me, sorry. Let's see. That's not Brad. Oh, here we go. I've got four browsers or windows open to run this, right? So let's see if I could, which one am I supposed to have you in? That's Microsoft edge. So, Oh, there you are. Oh, you're getting some weird distortion. You're weird distortion. <laughs> but I don't want you small like that. Let's see. There we go. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you, but there's some like, uh... Okay. What? There's some kind of like fuzz. Oh. Like your connection's not clear. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now it's worse. Oh. No, that's probably not better. No, there, oh, we, go. there we go. Really? really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm also, I'm hearing, also hearing a ton of echo. A ton of echo. I'll figure it out. It actually got better now that we got in the chat. Let's see. Let's see. Am I still, Am I still echoing? echoing? They said your, they said mic, your is mic is hot. hot. Oh, because I'm, oh, hearing, I'm myself. hearing myself. I need to turn, need to that, turn off. that off. I'm, I'm, I'm probably up too close. Let me see what I'm going to try and hit disconnect and see what, happens. See what happens. Nope, then I just lose you entirely. No, he doesn't have the YouTubes on, so we should be good with that. Audio suck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gary. It sounds good to me, good to except me for that I can hear myself. myself. Yeah, you're hearing yeah, the echo. All right. Hello, how about now? Say something, Brad. Okay. Now that turned you off. Oh, that's probably helped a lot, though. What if I turn down the value? Now say something. Yeah, I turned my the volume down so I didn't hear myself twice. But I've never had the well, we had the echo problem with me once, but then that went away. So now I'm not sure. Others oh, saying it's still very echoey. Um, let me think about that. Desktop, maybe I no, that shouldn't matter. It's always worked like this before. Oh, you said perfect, so it's good now. 
maybe we just didn't need to turn our volumes down. So it's not coming. I bet it was playing. Mine was playing the mic and the desktop audio. So it was playing it back through. Can you hear me now? I can only hear you IRL, but that's fine as long as they can hear you. Oh, they said it's good. Stop touching things. So we're good. I turned off my mic. That's why. So now they can't hear you? I just turned off the volume. Why is Pudgy putting the hand over the face? Rick's telling us it's good. Okay. Let's see what the next person says because the YouTube has the delay, so we don't. We need to wait a minute till they could actually. Oh yeah, we probably changed like twelve. Things. Yeah, we changed it. They said it was good, and then we messed up more like five more things. Echo went away, so we're good. Okay, as long as you can hear both of us. Yeah, I just needed, I think I just needed to turn off the volume on Discord because it was playing through the desktop audio and through my voice. Anyways, can't hear Brad. Oh, can you still know? Oh, they're only hearing you through my mic. So you have to have your, you have to turn yours up. But I think I solved the echo on my part. So I think that's fine if you turn yours up. I won't be able to tell, guys, because I had to turn mine off so I don't get the echo, so you have to let me know. I don't know how I was hearing everything is in French now. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, they're saying they still can't hear you. You got your mic up? Oh, maybe I need to turn you on. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> so you still can't hear Brad? Brad, talk a little bit. I'm just going to talk. Yeah, just say things. Oh, North High, North High Final High. Countdown Double IPA. How about that? Oh, I could hear him now, but now I'm oh, echoing. echoing. Yeah. This is bullshit, man. We, I, I haven't had trouble with it before. Let me mute myself and see what happens. Nope, still echoing. I bet you it's two things on the fucking laptop. I think it's my end, not yours. Whoops. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ben wrote, can't hear Brad, followed real quickly by sounds better, followed by echo. <laughs> what are you doing? You just blew up and just it. <laughs> Everyone's leaving. It's like rats on a sinking ship. <laughs> just how we like it. Man, there's nothing worse than hearing my own voice. Do you want me to just come over there? I'm fully vaccinated. They haven't proved that doesn't spread it. Yeah, you're, if anything, you're the vector right now. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Let me see if what this stuff does. Microphone. Okay, that's not a problem. Output device. Sound. Yeah, I don't know. Where's that come from? I can hear it on your mic, too. <laughs> hmm. We haven't had this problem. The moose was a better guest. <laughs> All right. Nope. Still hear it. All right. All right. Nope. 
Oh boy. Oh, that's oh, my radiator. radiator. Uh, uh, Heat's kicking on. Well, do you just want to grab a stool and come over here? Yeah. Yeah, if it's better than this, then. Yeah. Well, it's not working, so, yeah. <laughs> Do I close all this then? Yeah, might yeah. as well. Um, um, if you want to keep you want your, to laptop your laptop with the chat, the chat and just grab a, a stool, stool or just. Or this... iPad. Yeah, I think, well, you know, we had that with Brad where um, the other Brad last week where the mic was picking up that, but I think we're getting a much more serious echo than that. So, oh well. Whoops. There we go. Do you want to use that to sit on, or do you want to stand? Or no, I'll stand. No, if you stand, you probably won't. Yeah. We don't need this. Oh, is that? Wow. Did I drink out of it? No. Oh. Not yet. <laughs> Sorry, you yanked that out of your hand. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Large margin stool, we call it a shat here. <laughs> <laughs> this is one thing I was saying is sometimes weird. I know that this is stupid to say live because no one else could see it, but this will show up before that. Hmm. Where's this coming from? From. It's this. It's a website. It's just oh, an overlay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense that there's. Isn't that weird? Delay. Anyways, let's. It's so. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> so me and Brad, uh, his friend Carl, they work together at Earthquaker Devices, the um, guitar pedal company here in Akron. Um, they're pretty well renowned, renowned, renowned <laughs> for their <laughs> nailed it. guitar pedals. And our friend Carl, mutual friend Carl, brought Brad out. Brad said, what kind of stuff do they ride? Carl was like, oh, they're just going to road ride. That was never true. We had already talked about we were going to this off-road section. Um the trail I've talked about before, we call Honda Hills. Uh, gravel 8. Yeah, and, and the Route 8 gravel, which is a access road, right, for an old train line, or for current train line. So he showed up on a Fuji. I don't know what the model was. It's, uh, it's a Fuji Cross, like 3.0 or 1, whatever their lowest tier was. <laughs> cross bike is <laughs> but it's the most expensive bike i had ever purchased yeah it was a nice bike but he had like 25 millimeter tires or something like that on it and so then we're off-roading and he was I, we're taught he was you know definitely struggling a little bit and then i remember otis just being like you need to put wider tires on that you bike. all said that yeah yeah everyone was just like there's no reason for those even on the road but especially off-road <laughs> anyway so yeah brad i think first went he went you didn't you say you went to the shop like the next day and yeah the, the very next day yeah and there's a sale conveniently yeah on uh on um pan racer the um gravel kings yeah yeah it's like what's the <laughs> Their main tire, uh, or the ones we like, yeah. And that was like uh, such a big difference. I think the is this the bike? It was the Fudgy Cross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it was black and with like neon green. And Otis thought like neon green was my favorite color, so he would try and sell me anything that was neon green <laughs> for like. Yeah. For, like <laughs> Six months. <laughs> now, so. But I guess I'm kind of wearing something. Um, yeah, and then I think 32s were the biggest I could get on there. But it made such a big difference. Oh, did that only fit 32s? I thought you made even more of a... No, no, that was as wide as we can get on there. And that might even be wrong. It might be like 28s are the, like, the widest it can get. Oh. But... I thought that ended up going bigger than that, but I can't remember. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, so then, yeah, because you could only fit those tires, you ended up upgrading bikes entirely, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what'd you get next? That was the, that was the journeyman. That I got oh, next. a journeyman? 
<laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> And then I got rid of the journeyman and swapped all of my parts over to a uh, all city space horse because the steel was definitely more real. Didn't you think the journeyman was too small though? You need it to was speak, a little too speak small. With some, uh, it was a little, little bit too volume in your voice. You know I don't do that. Uh, <laughs> it was a little too small. It was a fifty four, and, and he still <laughs> said four steed at a neon green table. <laughs> 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 That's. Uh, good observation. Yeah, timing is everything. Uh, yeah, and uh, I think the other part of the problem is that like my I think my torso and my arms are longer than my legs, and uh, so it makes so I can fit on a longer bike, but I have to put the seat down all the way. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then the space horse just fit so much better. And you got a. Well, this, you're riding it in this video, but got a custom paint job? Yeah, because everybody has the the cream. And everyone, well, not everyone, but a lot of people got mad at me for painting over a, an all-city custom paint job. But Well, just a brand new all-city. They really do a good job on the paint. And I love the paint job because it's like a vintage Peugeot I know, it's a, yeah, it's, yeah. And I, it's very 70s and disco, and I like all that stuff. But then there's just a bunch of them out there. A bunch of our friends have them. And yeah, yeah. I really, the paint job you got looks great. But then didn't all city come out like a year later with one that kind of had like your <laughs> custom paint job? On the, on the, on the, what's their fixed gear one? Oh, yeah. Or the, no, it's a super professional, isn't it? Super professional, maybe? One? Yeah. Or is it the. We'll look it up in a minute. Marge will know. Uh, Casey Leonard. Hey, what's up, Casey? Um, he said, How does the journeyman compare to the Via? Doesn't. Um, Brian Hugh ride the Via? Yeah, those are both, Fargo and Via are both steel with a carbon fork, and the Journeyman is like an aluminum frame. Uh, the Journeyman's a much, I mean, the Fargo and the Via are like much nicer bikes than the Journeyman, aren't they? I wouldn't say much nicer, but yeah, they're nicer. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say, yeah, yeah. I, would I don't know the difference yeah. between the Fargo and the Via. Isn't the Fargo is... Wasn't his Fargo carbon? No. That's, no. yeah. It's steel? Yeah. Really? With that shape? Yeah. Yeah, the, the fork is, car is carbon. But even the down tube and stuff has, like, that unique... It's, it's definitely more mountain bike than... I mean, that's the first drop bar gravel bike, isn't it? Like, isn't that its thing? Um, that's the... That's like the first, Salsa. yeah, the first divide. Oh yeah, specific yeah. bike. Um, it's more. You can see its mountain bike roots more in the frame than. Than the Via. The Via was more of a road, touring bike. Hmm. That people now look at it as more of a gravel road bike. I think. Um, oh, carbon fork. Yeah, that's right. Large Marge <clears throat> said. I think Large Marge and Pudgy would probably have a better answer to this than I would. Um, Hughes, wait, Hughes the, got the Vibe, right? Yeah. The which Vibe is also is, steel with the carbon fork. Yeah, which is, that bike is really nice. He's running ETAP e on that, isn't he? He is now, yeah. Yeah. And that's what I was well, going to... Well, I bought to... his group set. That's what I'm running oh, on right, the yeah. rally. So my, my gravel bike is running Shimano 11-speed Shimano 105 because Hugh, our friend Ryan, pulled that off his right. Via, and then he went with SRAM Red ETAP. And Otis talked me out of the Via because he thought it was ugly. <laughs> and he just thought it wasn't the same. He thought if I was going to go that way, then a Space Horse would be better. Mm. But I wasn't into the Space Horse at the time. Until I, I rode it. Personally, I like the, well, you know, everyone knows I like classic steel triangle, classic triangle steel bikes. So right. I really like the Space Horse, but a carbon fork, I think, is a nice upgrade for yeah. anything. Yeah. But I think Hughes Via is a really cool one. It's the black one with that like salsa those. purple is really it's yeah. just nice. Oh, that's it, the purple. What's the black one though? What's Hughes black bike? His War Road. Oh, that's the War Road. Yeah. That's full carbon, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so he, that's what he was riding yesterday, and that's why that's in my oh, head. Oh, that's what. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I would show you a video of it, but I don't know where my GoPro is. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have pictures of either of these? Oh, you wrote it on Ohio to Uri, right? 
Yeah. yeah. I just have the tag Brad on there. I'll find it. You, you just tell have the to type in other Brad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't distinguish in my tags who the Brads were. And before the Fuji, I had a Gary Fisher Cronus that could fit 2.2 tires on there. And then before that, I had a GT Borrego uh, that I really enjoyed. I loved that bike. GT, that was a steel mountain bike? Yeah. Let's see, where would I have a picture of your... And I ripped the hub out of that one because I didn't know how to shift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is. There we go. That's it, right? Yeah. Pull it up. I don't have it on the screen though. There's do you do you have Instagram on do you have Instagram on this thing? Instagram? <laughs> yeah. Wait, is that some kind of Is that kinda of like when you send someone a message? I got I still have that helmet. I gotta get a new strap for it though. Yeah, I can't really see much of the bike yeah. there. Uh, let's, let's find out. Oh, it's not that. It's really not that leggy tonight. I put it in the Discord like. Yeah, I'll never find it. Three that. months ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think for Kenny's Hundo. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, it doesn't let me really expand it. Right, because it's Instagram. subpar. Because yeah. it's a stupid, yeah. You can't really see the paint job there, but that was the one that was cream with the orange highlights. Like I said, like the vintage Peugeot look, but you can see it's... Are those Chris King? Is that a Chris King headset? Yeah. The purple anodized one? Yeah, they stopped making it, so I can't get the matching parts for it. Oh, uh, because they, don't they only do like one a year, like yeah. special colors? Yeah, yeah. and I've... I was going to keep it all black. I at least was thinking about getting the bottom bracket matching. but Oh, this is what Pudgy says. Fargo is more of a touring bike. Via is gravel. And j is sort of an alloy Via with more tire clearance. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because it's like I pay attention to all the bike stuff and what's coming out, but I still know my vintage bikes even I was going to say, do you? I mean, I, I mean, I do. I mean, I do like kind of. I can never... So you can make fun of people more efficiently. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I mean, you, you got to be smart to be funny, you know, right? Is that what they say? Is that why? What is the, what That's is the, why I'm not funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you said it. What is... What is the wheel set you're running on that one now? Well, you're getting new wheels built for I'm it. I'm getting too. new wheels built for it. That's the that's OEM. The new wheels are the white industry uh, huh. alloy rims, the gravel rims. Oh, they make the full wheel set. I thought only the hubs were going to be white industry. No, they don't make the full wheel set, but I did get the white industry hubs too. Um, and I forget the name of them. I'd have to see it. But Yanda, who might be listening tonight... It's supposed oh, to be building. He would have chimed in already if he while was listening. he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> so he's supposed to be building them now. Uh, he he's... says that during every stream that he's like, I don't know if I'm going to be there. I'm building Brad's wheels. Yeah, I know that was like four weeks ago too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's counting? Yeah. <laughs> as long as the weather is crappy, it's fine. Yeah. But once it starts getting nicer. Oh, it's, uh, he asked what tire. These are the ultra dynamical rosés. Yeah. And they're the... The slick ones. Slick which ones. I used all winter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Never fell down. <laughs> it got pretty sketchy sometimes, but... Uh, oh, this, is, this isn't this is Brad, but this is the what the bike would look like with the original paint job. This right. is Kenny from Missing Falls, and he's since sold this bike to another friend of ours. Yeah, and Kenny and I ride together a lot, so I can't have the same bike as my dude. But now he sold it, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, but... Andy has one too. Oh, Andy does. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah, it's complicated. <clears throat> yeah, what? full blame. Where was this? That's behind the ice cream shop. The ice cream shop? Chill. Oh, chill. Yeah. Didn't we want to be no, in front of that you. because of what the graffiti said, but you can't see it because we're in front of it anyways? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a good picture of you, and that stash on Marge is sweet. Yeah. 
That's a good stash and on large he's, Marge. He's got a nice high sock profile, which I enjoy. See, that's your large Marge bike? Yeah. yeah, that's when I got that rack. That's when I got back from Minneapolis because I got the... Um, the Swift Industries bag. The, what's their bike shop there? The Catfish or... Uh, that's their water bottles or whatever. But hmm. I'm trying to remember. They have a... But we couldn't go inside because of COVID. Yeah, I just got that rack for that trip. The the Pelago Pelago rack. The basket or the rack? Or the the basket's the walled. Yeah. The what? Walled. Wow. Then what? What is that big bag you have in there now? Is that the? That's Swift? the Swift Industries. The um, shoot. Oh, the uh, uh, the bread. What's it called? Oh, bread bread basket. Not bread, bread basket. Oh, shoot. I was gonna say bread winner, but that's a bike. Company. Yeah. Oh man, they make beautiful bikes. Uh, oh, that's kind of a good shot of your bike loaded up. Yeah, man, those water bottles are an issue. Oh, with the frame bag. Yeah. Mine rubs like that, but I don't worry about it. Like, cause I drink the other one first, and then I just switch them. I've been talking to the Andrew, the make. Yeah, Angry Catfish. Thank you, March. Um, uh, wait, what's HSP? IRL in real life. HSP IRL. HSP. I don't know. <laughs> Sugar Loaf, thanks. Love. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I thought that was another Brad for a second, but Broad Fuel. Broadford, he's out in uh, Connecticut, right? He's where VGNO and you know, that whole Blue Moon thing comes oh, from. Oh, sweet. Okay. We talked about Rehoboth <laughs> Beach the one night when I was just, right. I think it was me, him, and Pudgy, and Large Marge were the only ones watching oh, man. those old streams. Are we going to get to see that, that animation? Oh, yeah. Okay. The problem is we can't hear it here. I don't know why it doesn't play. Like, when I play the videos off the hard drive, they don't play. I'll play on my phone. No. <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll turn on the Bluetooth. High sock profile. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All about that, yeah. You know why? I know why. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting next to Brad at the bar. We, ro we rode out to Kent, and we went to Erie Street Kitchen. Uh, Erie, but that's in a different bar. Oh, Venice Pizza. No, it's just Venice. Venice. They never had pizza. Yeah, uh, they did have pizza. They are a pizza shop. No, they <laughs> Yeah, they are. No, they're not. No. They have pizza. Maybe now. No, they used to. <laughs> like back in the day. Like when you should have known. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I worked down the street. The the... I think it's like Venice Pizza, Venice Cafe and Pizza. Just Venice Cafe, yeah. Anyways, the Venice. Because I worked down the street at the actual pizza shop. And I looked down at Brad's leg. He was not wearing long socks. And I'm like, oh, you have a tattoo. It's a shitty tattoo. It is. I could, I actually, I think I tried not to make fun of it. And it was just not possible. There, you had, it was like three years before you even knew I had a tattoo. Yeah, because he, he always wore long socks. Right. Because yeah. of the tattoo. <laughs> it's a lizard with a yin-yang yin -yang. as a head. Yeah. I got one when I was 17. <laughs> Didn't you say the tattoo artist was like, are you <laughs> sure you want this? <laughs> He's like, uh, cause the thing, you know, the thing about symbols is they change as you get older. And I was like, no. Nope. <laughs> this will always be this cool. Is always... <laughs> uh, I wonder if that's like the reason I have zero confidence in myself because... I once got a shitty tattoo and then had to live with it the rest of my life. Yeah. I... <laughs> That's why I like the idea of getting it lasered off instead of just getting it covered. Oh, nice. Thanks, Jamzy. What are you listening to? Us? It says it out loud. Oh. Oh, that's right. That weird, in that English voice. Did you pick that voice? Yeah, that's why I, re but I didn't, the first time I had that voice on, I didn't like have headphones on. I was working on bikes in the basement. So the first time I did that, that's where super shatting comes from. Because he says, he says super shatted five dollars, <laughs> and that's why we changed in the Discord All right. to All right. just, <laughs> from just chatting to just, just shatting. Just shatting yeah. <laughs> that just seems like a natural progression to right. me. I didn't even have to question that. Um, oh. oh, because we said chat. 
I don't, yeah, by the way, JMZ, I don't know if you already have it linked, but if you link your Discord account to YouTube, there's other channels that'll pop up for you now. But yeah, thanks, appreciate it. Anyway, so the high sock profile was because you have a lizard with it. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, I just for, use... Why, why, the, you said you drew it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what, I, I think, I, I know. know we've talked about this, but I what made 17. You, but what? I was 17 once too, but I didn't think lizards should have yin yang heads. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't defend my 17 year old self. <laughs> See, I thought about that. That guy was a dumbass. <laughs> yeah. The reason I've never got a tattoo is one thing like when me and my friends in high school got really. I've never gotten another one because yeah. I was like, look what yeah. kind of judgment you have. Yeah. Well, I always wanted, you know, the little thing that goes in the center of 45s? Oh, God. They're. But there wasn't that people weren't into records then. This is 1996. I was going to say, almost going to say, if you were ever a musician. <laughs> yeah. And then, so I'm like thinking I'm going to get this right here. Like that little. Oh, that, God. That's where everybody gets it. I know. I know. <laughs> and I didn't. And then I was so happy because like a year later, like Adrenaline Skateboard started using it as their logo. Then vinyl oh, got really popular and everybody was using it. It would have been cool in 95. There yeah. wasn't a lot of them. In 97, they was everywhere, you know, like, so. And, and, and that's why I never have never gotten a tattoo either. Yeah. I have a friend who has all joke tattoos, and he was, he was right about it. He was like, if you get something serious, it's going to be stupid later. If you get something funny, it's always going to be funny. That my friend Yuri did the same thing. He would get joke tattoos, and they were incredible. Um, he was tr learning how to do tattoos, and he gave himself tattoos tattoos too and he passed out while giving himself a tattoo and it says drinking stinking never thinking just kind of <laughs> and then you can see where it trails off down his side when that tattoo shop used to like some of the guys left and actually i do not have a tramp stamp but i thought about it uh, obsolescence <laughs> isn't in the chat tonight but his brother owns the is a part owner of the tattoo shop that's just two doors down from me and he lives actually right over here but they used to have a tattoo shop, or they worked for a guy who had a piercing and tattoo shop before they opened their own in Highland Square. And everyone used to get hammered at the bar and then go over there late night. And they had a wheel. They would spin it, and they would just get tattooed with whatever came up. Oh, man. And I just think that's crazy. <laughs> hey, what's up, Citizen Science? Maybe Second. that can be next week, uh, me getting this tattoo covered up with my stimmy money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We got a fellow Akronite in here, Citizen Science Corp. Nice. Or Pudgy said, or William Super Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan uh, says you seem enlightened. That's weird. Oh, it's because of the glasses? Oh, they're talking about you bouncing in and out of the screen. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyways, oh, that was the high stock profile. That's where all this tattoo talk came from. <laughs> Uh, Jazz lettuce. Not yet. The, I, my favorite. I think Kenny always says that the the devil's the devil's lettuce. The devil's lettuce. That's yeah. a great. That's one of my favorite terms for it. I always when I worked at a car wash when I was younger, I was the only white person who worked there, and I would always say grass, and they thought That's that was like hilarious. A, where are you going with this? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I think that's really. What, those guys, that's when I first started hearing bud all the time is the expression. But what? <laughs> It's just true. It's not, that's not no, racist. I, I like the jazz cigarettes. I thought that was oh, I'm like, let me honk on that bobo. <laughs> 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 is how you get kicked out of the, the weed circle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it? Citizen, join us over if you want in the Discord. We have a cool chat over there, and there's a lot of local guys. Um, it's like a message board, but that's... serendipity. That's a good word. Yeah. What is? <clears throat> I've seen you biking around here for years. You. Right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm reading with Citizen's comment. You see me biking around here for years and came across my YouTube channel. Oh, nice. Jazz awesome. cabbage. I like. Jazz cabbage. Devil's lettuce. Yeah. We always smoking them jazz cigarettes. <laughs> Not always. Yeah, we always say it. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> we just like saying it. Yeah. yeah. That's what I started. I found that jazzercise graph from back in the day. I'm like, that's kind of what we do on Wednesday nights. But I, now I haven't smoked pot in a long time. My One of our childhood friends, his mom taught jazzercise classes. And I think about that every time we'd say 
jazz singer. <laughs> I got Wes was Wes always said that, but you know, in like Kerouac novels, they call it they they use that like jazz yeah. reference. Oh God, Kerouac. We don't have to get into your this. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a whole lecture about how uh, what's the uh, book with Holden Caulfield Catcher in a Rye was n- is not a good book from a woman who just went off me. She's like only you fucking boys who were teenagers and rebels like that and like like gave me a whole lecture. I'm like fuck, I love that book. Yeah, yeah, I know, and I'm like, I read it like every November. <laughs> and, and the way she like yeah, the way she like trashed me like was like uh. pretty on point, and I'm like well fine, you you pigeonholed me, and you're right, but I yeah. still like it. I, I hate like, it when people are right. Yeah, <laughs> J.D. Salinger is kind of a piece of shit, but it really? turns out. Have you ever watched that new documentary that came out on Netflix a few years ago? Great. I mean, he had like a yeah, he was like kind of keeping like women as slaves. It seems like in their very manipulative. Character. Well, back then, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I always no. try and justify the art thing where I'm like, what? It but it's like yeah, the that's money's... the worst argument. Well, back then, no, I know. Well, that I don't that. try and justify it in that way, but no. uh. And I, I wasn't—I didn't mean that as an insult. But same thing with like Woody Allen. I love Woody Allen movies, but he's a piece of shit. Like, yeah. I mean, so it's like, can I not like the John Lennon was kind of a piece of shit in his personal life. Can I not like John Lennon's music? I love John Lennon's. Soul Why are stuff. you yelling at me right now? God, would you fucking <laughs> quit arguing with me? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know. It's a weird. Never. It's a weird thing. I think that I've always said this, and I think we've talked about it on here. Is like. A lot of artists are really fucked up. <laughs> like, it's a lot of the. I fun. thought that's why we liked them. Yeah, effed but, up. I, well, I try not to swear on here, but I really? think very well about it. Well, there was a couple of people who said they listen at work and stuff like that. So I. Out loud? Like, not on headphones? Yeah, I guess. Like, just on their phone? Or they got, they're that person? Yeah, I can't remember which one. Someone uh, someone who's in the chat was like, I, I listen at work. Is this. Is it safe to listen to these live streams at work? And I was like, and I was like, yeah, I think so. But then I'm like, ah, I also kind of get drunk and let a lot slip. <laughs> that was a weird ten minutes. <laughs> 1987, three p.m. to three. <laughs> I actually it's scary. I didn't have a beer on Sunday or Monday and Tuesday. I was only going to have the one. And then everyone kept paying me to show moose pictures. So I'm like. <laughs> yeah, keep them coming. Right? Yeah. Then Terry B jumped in right when I was about to sign off. So I'm like, well, I'm not signing off now. We're getting yeah. a chat with Terry B. So. <laughs> ben, always. Raw dog in that audio. The fucking samurai comment. Yeah. Uh. Mm. Ben's got to be, Lamar has got to be one of the funniest people we know. Um, Mikey said he listens with his kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a bad tattoo. You listen to this in front of your kids. It's all the... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's all, it's all relative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why doesn't JMZ getting his... Uh... Oh, he does. Yeah, you got the factory. It's just... A... Oh, Moose Nut. Oh, you did te- technically ask for Moose Knuckles. <laughs> we did show Moose Knuckles after that. That's my friend's handle for the longest time. It was Moose Knuckles. Cool story. Yeah, JMZ, you do. It's black, but if you're in the dark mode, it's harder to see that. But So these, have you noticed the memberships? They, they change color with how long people have been members. Yeah. So yeah. now that's why some people have the red ones. But... If anyone makes it a year, there's a real special, <laughs> special change. <laughs> there's a rainbow? No. no. If anyone makes it a year. Yeah. I love the amount of doubt in that. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone. Uh. Well, I, I'm always blown away anyways by this. Yeah. Like I said, I was before we came on. I was showing Brad they, that their YouTube had this new thing that lets you see a grid of your subscribers over over a year. And I looked at last year, and on this day last year, there were like forty six. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, what's it say? It says thirteen twenty right now, and I think that's even a little behind. So, you're <laughs> you're smoking. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're almost caught up to my subscribers. What are you at? No, I'm kidding. I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brad has Brad has a viral video. Are we able to? Play no, it? it's not viral. It's, it's viral. Not. It has like a hundred thousand views, right? Five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Let's play it. It went viral in Russia or something. I don't know. No, it isn't. It's got like all kinds of comments. Yeah, that's when. That's your name, right? Yeah, that's here. When... It is. No. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I God, you're making me cuss again. <laughs> <laughs> We've been drinking. Ah. Uh, so this is. Don't. Do you want to set this up? Uh, yeah, why don't you set this up? God. What's wrong it's with this? The, it's in the fucking text of the... Oh, hey. now I'm swimming. Oh. Hey, look come on. You, look what you're doing. <laughs> set this up. It's like your... What did what did, what did uh, Gabe Trey call it? Your... My seminal work. <laughs> your seminal work. <laughs> well, I've, I've been in a... I played in a band for like 10 years. I played bass guitar. And this is my most successful thing. Uh... There was a piece of software called um, Paul's Stretch that will distort, well, not distort, I'm sorry, it will, um, you can lengthen a sound without distortion, without changing the pitch, and I thought that was interesting, and uh, I forget what prompted me to pick this one. Uh, but this is uh this is the Brian Eno. I'm I'm a fan of Brian Eno and the Windows ninety three or Windows ninety five sound. Uh, I think there's a story about him. So it's when you turn your computer on with Windows ninety five, yeah. the chimes. Yeah, yeah. And there's a story about uh, right, right, Demonta. And uh, there's a <laughs> story about Brian Eno receiving the copy from his uh, his his agency about. Um, this company called Microsoft, they want this, they want someone to write a song that's all these adjectives and like grandiose and like calming and energetic and hopeful and, and there's like uh, this whole litany of things, but it can only be three seconds long. And he just <laughs> thought, he just laughed out loud and he thought that was such a joke. And then he Cause started, you know, that was the marketing department wrote that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, but then he started thinking about it and then he wrote like, 83 like micro symphonies or something like that <laughs> and then i was thinking about that paul stretch and i thought it'd be interesting to stretch that that sound that's three seconds stretching it out to the length of the of an average average pop song which is 232 apparently yeah i think i picked that just uh i was also reading about numerology and how its significance is bullshit, but uh, people find meaning in, behind numbers for various reasons. And uh, so I just made it sound like I picked those numbers for some spooky reason, but it's no reason in particular. What are these assholes even talking so, <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, this is, you said, this has like 500,000 views and people think he invented, what do they call it? Vapor? Vaporwave. Vaporwave, a, yeah. kind, a genre. Genre. Of genre. Music. And then people, it's been used in some other uh, viral videos. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Pudgy. Oh, it's nice. Pudgy's birthday. I forgot. How old is he? He's the big 5 0 today. No, really? No, he's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> you always have to up everyone's age. Yeah. <laughs> Got to be a dick about it. Um, well, I was getting ready, yeah. yeah. So, should we, should we play your no. seminal work? No. Here we go. It's, oh, my God. It's t- <laughs> What's going on? Why isn't it playing? It is playing. That's the thing. But where's the... Do you have a graphic up there? Oh, here we go. I also found... Can I talk over it? Let's, let's let people get a little bit of... Yeah, thank you. Didn't you slow down this video to match it, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh... it's funny, they kind of went back to this... Flat style. Oh, 
you can hear it. Citizen, so shh. <laughs> That's funny. I need to drop a link to this too. People need to read the comments. The comments are hilarious. <laughs> Just 40 more seconds of this, guys. <laughs> Robert said he could see the colors. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that your little, uh, what do you call that? Cookie? Nancat or yeah. Easter egg. That's the word I was looking for, <laughs> Easter egg. One man's cookie is another man's Easter egg. Yeah, that kind of seminal. <laughs> Oh, JMZ posted. What's what's he, what's he sipping on? But other people, you started using that sound in other memes. And then in, I think in LA, they had something where they did, uh, they stretched uh, Beethoven's ninth mm. f over a 48 hour period. And uh, people would go and camp out to listen to. Beethoven's ninth slowed down I don't know how many times <laughs> so anyways jump in this comment section it's very interesting because some people are crediting Brad with being like inventing a genre of music yeah, inventing <laughs> a genre of music like oh I didn't know I did that on screen oh well you guys gotta see how the sausage is made <laughs> get paid for this <laughs> i mean not a lot yeah <laughs> uh, like i said really i mean really as i started doing this because i thought like everyone was going to be like live streaming events and like people would i better knew how, i better know how to do this so i could charge clients for it that's a good point and then it turns out that we've done a little bit of it but now everyone's we're pre-packaging everything so it's just the video skills from doing YouTube are more valuable than this actually is for, you know, cause that's why I do YouTube that is to get sense. better at, yeah, you know, that that, yeah, that's how that all started. I remember. Yeah. But so, that was my idea behind, behind trying to live stream twice a week was to get really good at live streaming so I could charge clients for it. But, um, Beethoven's ninth is pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like you said, I think that was just a Microsoft ad. It, I mean, it was, but it slowed down from three seconds to two thirty-two, right? I do have Microsoft certification, <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I got it. Uh, yeah, that's we haven't. No, I got it up, because of the what vaccine. you do for a living is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to learn yeah, how Bill to troubleshoot. Gates, my... Bill Gates directed a microchip directly right, in your right. arm, yeah. and yeah. Now it's weird because he probably knows about this whole thing, so. Well, maybe they'll stop trying to sue me for it. <laughs> <laughs> Have they ever? Uh, yeah, they. YouTube definitely put the kibosh on that because I don't have permission from Microsoft. So it just can't be monetized. Mm -hmm. Did that? Does Mike? No, it didn't play an ad, so Microsoft's not monetizing it. Right, they're just contesting it. Oh yeah, that's a, well because it's interesting. So if I use a song, the copyright holders will put ads on my videos. Why don't we write the music for your videos? What? Why don't we do the music for your videos? Who's we? You and me. Oh, just double basses? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Dude, <they're... laughs> yes. I've been trying to bring this up for so long. <laughs> There's some good double bass bands. <laughs> uh, yeah, what was that? There's a There's a three There's... bass band. Um, that sounds awful. It, but it's a bass six, so technically a guitar. But uh, I saw uh, the Dirt Bombs are two bass band that's really good. Uh, there's a band called Rothko, uh, hmm. that's three bass. I think they're from 
Boston. Uh, so <laughs> if you would have stretched it out to 22, yeah. 22, it could have been a doom song. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. We must know him. And we don't know you in person, Citizen Science. IRL, as we just taught Rick Urbanowski what that meant the other day in the Discord. <laughs> uh, ben and I, when we would open the, or Marge and I, when we would open the shop, he would open, that was his like pump up jam sandstorm a couple, on a couple occasions. I actually don't know that song. Who's it by? It's a, I was going to say it's a fa- old techno song, but Darude? That's how you say his name? It means nothing to me. Oh, like yeah. It. How do you feel about techno? I, you know you know the interesting thing? And I, I thought people don't like that term. Techno? I thought they like want to say house music and stuff like that. No, that's a different... Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't care. It's, it's going to be a long night, guys. <laughs> Buckle up. So, <laughs> no, I'm, 1983. I'm, I'm actually completely uninterested. Anyways. Me too. Um, I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Darude. Ah, okay. Ooh. Oh, cool. Yeah, Citizen, there's no problem with that. A, there's a number of people in here. A person of mystery. Yeah. But even, yeah, I met, you know, I met Obsolescence in person the other day, but same thing. He said there's just got some life situations where he doesn't use his real name on YouTube. Which yeah, totally I shouldn't un- be on here at all. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that's totally entirely that's, different. Yeah, that's anyway. a different thing. <clears throat> no, but I've said that. There's no problem with that. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with you don't need to have your real name or anything on Uh, Rick said he's a robot. <laughs> I like this guy already. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he definitely knows us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <he's> t- <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand. I don't recognize that word, robot. <laughs> so what are you going to do once the weather turns nice? Is this is what you're going to be doing? On Tuesdays and Thursdays? Well, the reason I scheduled this for nine... Because the sun's still going to be out. At, I know. Well, the reason I started well, doing this at 9 o'clock was because I thought, like, oh, I should be home from anything by 9. <laughs> and then I did two. And then I was like, no, wow. I'm still out and about at 9 yeah. o'clock. But yeah. then again, so I stopped doing it for a little while. But then there was also no reason to make sure I was home because I was talking to myself. You know, like there was, you know, Pudgy was joining and yeah. Large Marge, if he was home in time. Now it might be worth being home on Tuesday and Thursday because we have this, these fun conversations, but we'll see. Or maybe it goes to once a week. I make sure I'm home on Thursday night once the weather's nice. You know, okay. I'll just, I'm going to play it by ear, you know. So, I mean, the live streams are fun, but the YouTube channel is about making YouTube videos too. So I, if I'm out making YouTube videos, then... That's what I... Yeah, okay. yeah. What, what did he say? That's a little robot. That's what a robot is. <laughs> so true. That is exactly what a robot is. A robot sounds like a robot. I feel like this person is trolling me specifically now. Yeah. <laughs> the mere mention of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, because I oh. wouldn't even know. Because I saw that first one and it was so bad that I didn't see the other ones. I say something to offend at least 75% of the audience. And See, I won't even audience. look at him because he's just trying to get a reaction on me. No, it's not a reaction. It just sucked. <laughs> <laughs> are you not? Are you sure you're not talking about The Hobbit? The first Lord of the Rings that came out, I saw that in the theater and it was so bad. And they used that horrible frame rate that I couldn't stand watching. I think you're talking about The Hobbit. No, it wasn't The Hobbit. It was, yeah. cool. it was the one where they were like, the whole movie was about getting somewhere. And then at the end, they go up on this mountain. They're like... Oh, there it is, and then the credits rolled, and I was like, "This yeah. was the worst piece of trash." That's the Hobbit, and life. it did suck. It, it wasn't did. the Hobbit. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. I bet you it was. It was called Lord of the Rings. Is this really how you want this conversation to go? I don't. It's not how I want your <laughs> conversation to go. <laughs> I'm just saying you're getting into a nerd fight. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, the, and you're the not on came... your home turf. The Hobbit came out after the Lord of the Rings trilogy. In your house. Did the Hobbit come out after the Lord of the Rings trilogy, or did it not come out after the Lord of the Rings trilogy? 
I just wanted to make you answer, say that one more time. <laughs> answer the question. <laughs> yes, it came. Well, yeah, so the book or the movie? <laughs> the movies. We're talking about the movies. I didn't. I didn't read the book in a theater. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a pretty good point. <laughs> oh, good. Pudgy hates Lord of the Rings, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's... I, uh, what, yeah. In the book world, the Hobbit's first, right? And then there was Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Yeah. And the Hobbit was written more as like a children's book. Um the movies felt like that. Yeah, maybe. Oh, see, we just saw him retract it. Yeah, I, I saw the message. Though. Yeah, I was saying, I was saying that Rick retracts more messages than anyone. <laughs> yeah, and we we're but talk, he usually we doesn't like, retract the ones he should retract. That's what I, you know. Yeah, but like, if you're admin of the Discord, you can see all those retracted messages. Oh, really? No, I just. That, that's not <laughs> <laughs> Speaking I of, just hope there's like a drop of cold sweat at one point. Like, oh, fuck. Uh, speaking of the uh, Discord, I was uh, whoops, clicking the wrong buttons. But uh, this is what I always like to do. <laughs> Anyways, uh, was this Pokemon Bushmaster? A wild Bushmaster? Maybe Bushmaster is citizen science. Did you say Bush? Yeah, I Smash. definitely slurred the hell out of that. <laughs> I did want to show, uh, is Summit in here tonight? I didn't hear Summit Perry. I don't think he is. But he put these, well, he called them sweetbacks, but they're like uh, mustache bars. Did you see these? Oh, those are kind of sweet. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, those are... Our one friend Ryan, not Hugh. Uh, Switchblade. Switchblade, yeah. Switchblade <laughs> comb. Uh, he would love those. That's all. Well, he has a couple. He keeps telling me to with try the, and get mustache bars. With he the keeps... bar and shifters, though. I guess they're out wide. Oh, they are bar and shifters. I didn't even notice the bar and shifters. Because people a lot of times put up the... I've seen them put the shifters at the high point there, the farthest out point, like yeah. sideways, like mountain shifters. Ooh. Yeah. Bush smash, you're getting spicy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was trying. To, oh, and then um, Pixel dropped some photos from his rides today, too. Man, that name sounds so familiar. I know. I know I keep saying. Can I make this bigger? What the hell? Going across the, the lake, the frozen lake with like a kite board thing? I've never seen that before. What does that do? Shrink it? No, then you just downloaded it. I don't need that. God, you're like a daddy's in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, that? Someone. Oh, I like it's got the sticker. It's like a sticker. I like the gloves too, yeah. That looks like Lakeview, but. Yeah, they're up in uh, Minneapolis. Oh shit! Their rides—they ride in like the such cold weather, but they got like negative for like they yeah. didn't ride him and Robin H who pops in here. So sometimes. their rides look like Zwift rides, like when they're riding on frozen fucking yeah. rivers and lakes and shit. Yeah, those oh, that's a cool sunset photo. Yeah, that was two swear words in one sentence. Let's see what this one is. How do I make it? How do I make it big before I press play? <laughs> 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 this is your idea after all <laughs> I was I was listening to uh, so these are Pixel Wolf's photos I was listening to his live stream on Twitch last night he was drawing drawing and I was laying in bed like totally smashed after everything that happened yesterday and I'm like hey what's up man and who are you like, talking to? Pixel Wolf he streams oh, nice. on Twitch he does like draw like his drawings, artwork. drawings, yeah. <laughs> oh, Patrick, he used to, he used to uh, go on mustache rides. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
Yeah, our, we have a friend, AJ, that really likes the mustache bars. Yeah. Too. Or sweetbacks. And I get well, sweetbacks, I consider them two different things because I have sweetbacks on the single speed, which uh, puts sets my arms back. But mustache bars, I consider what those so yeah, carry yeah, because yeah. they have the, so you could still kind of like, you could go into the front section and it's more like arrow. It's almost like drop bars that are unfolded. Marge, what are the what would you call the bars you put on the the Pugsley then? The Pugsley. Those are just flat bars on the Pugsley. No, they're sweeps. Oh, sweeps. the Pugsley. I was thinking of his Yeah. He wrote it before I did. Yeah. There's a <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I didn't <laughs> I didn't go there. You did. That's good. Uh there we our friends with a pair, uh, pair of brothers, they're twins, right? Oh, the Whites? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Andy and Ken? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what is that <laughs> thing? What is, what is that what is funny about that? <laughs> yeah, the White, but that's their last name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but they donated. Uh, the White Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they do- what do, what do you call it? They donated a... They had a, a fat bike that they weren't riding, and they wanted someone to ride it, so... <laughs> How am I... So... <laughs> can you quit? I mean... Yeah, you just twins, like though. <laughs> sexual innuendo about everything you say, maybe? Did you not... I can't this? help that is you're... This, is this your work up here? This you turned keep on talking right about now. that story, wife. Um... <laughs> they had a a Pugsley that they weren't using. They donated it to the I have I'm the putting shop, it up as, right? It's yeah. on my it's on my Instagram. I've got a video with uh large Marge writing it. Oh, cool. And then uh Marge donated it to me. I think the catch is it has to stay within our group of friends. You just can't sell it. Yeah. You just can't sell it. They don't want it. to sell it. They gave it away. And everybody kind of upgrades it as they go. Marge put on some sweet handlebars. I'm going to put mechanical brakes on there because the, the hydros that are on there are a little uh, dated at this point. Case of the giggles. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, I... I'm big on giggles. I think it's the original Pugsley. It's the first generation with that yes, weird, with the cause crazy it's offset in the seat st- chain stays. Yeah, they did the offset because they didn't, they weren't sure of the geometry or something, and that's the only way they can make it work. This one, this this song, I, I always just want to like it kicks in and I just want to start tearing it up. Oh, you can't hear. But I can see you dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let's hear. It. We're basically standing in a silent room. What? I can't hear you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What are those called? Silent disco? Oh, they're talking about piddle. You're right. We should um, go into the thank you members video and take a piddle break. No. What time is it? Yeah, 10.13. Veto. This is... This is promised. This is a member's perk. Your name's on there. Oh, okay. I'm cool with it then. We are going to take a quick break here. Let's first thank the members, though. They really do help make this channel better in every way. Um, If you want to add your name to this list, there is a link in the chat right now and also below this video. It is really appreciated. Like I said, it will help make the channel better in every way. But you also do get some special perks. Um, There are extra videos, uh, more content, discount on swag, and a few other things. Check out the link if you're interested. We do appreciate any support here, though. So if you're just tuning in to watch for a little while, you know, hit the like button. They say it helps out. But yeah, any kind of support, whether you've ever, you know, bought a piece of swag, done a super chat but even just watching is good enough I appreciate it I really have fun doing this so I'm glad we have a little community here also take this chance again to say join us in the discord that's become a really cool thing too we'll be back in about a minute um, but one more time thanks to the members
Don't cross the streams. <laughs> yeah, streaming and crossing streams. No, I think I've um, talked to you guys about this before, but the studio is actually two different buildings that have been put together. So there's two bathrooms here, so we actually don't have to cross streams. I mean, we did, but we don't have to. <laughs> As I reach for the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I was thinking about that. I don't know. I, a couple people have asked on the streams before about like the space in the studio and want to see it. So some of the bigger YouTubers, there's just been this huge trend of studio tours lately. But I'm like, should I put one of those together? Do you think that's like worthwhile? Do you guys like want to? Because I know when I watch other YouTubers, I kind of like to know how everything fits together. So you see this scene and then over here is my giant studio space and then another space. And then where we work in the basement doing like one of those. Is that something that is worthwhile let me know but it feels kind of pretentious in a way but i also know that i like to see it when other people do it so oh, i switch this over to <laughs> oh f who killed the other guy <laughs> <laughs> studio tour yeah cool yeah I'll... no Two's enough for me. I'm in. <laughs> what should we should we talk more about bikes? Maybe ne did I say next week we can we can do me getting my tattoo covered up down the. <laughs> <laughs> Get your tattoo covered up over three anchors. Yeah. yeah. Piddle cam. <laughs> oh God. Neck. Yeah. I like how you're just the other guy. <laughs> I'm usually other Brad, which is yeah, also a demotion. Get you out of the chat. You're standing in the chat. Oh yeah, I know. I keep yeah. I don't want to get that close. <laughs> you could also do this. Whoops, wrong, wrong one. No, you're ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 There, give us a little more space. What's going on now? Oh, more Kenny's in talk. here. Oh, yeah, my dude. <laughs> Kenny wants my, more bike talk. My spacci horse, brother. <clears throat> Kenny. So can I get a effed up lizard regret tattoo emoji? <laughs> Did you see this one? It's on his face. <laughs> yeah, dude. We'll get matchies. Oh, so JMZ became a member. I think I, I have like... Now I could make like five more custom emojis. So, oh sick! It, it changes with the amount of members you have. So I only sick. Yeah. So we got like Patrick. We got Rick, which is my favorite one with the blue glove. <laughs> <laughs> Smokey, Vigiano, obviously. Yeah, but VG. so yeah, I was saying. Oh, I forgot to do this after Tuesday in the Discord that I want to like maybe we'll make a poll on what the <laughs> on what the. I gotta stop stepping. <clears throat> on what the emoji should be that we could have on YouTube because we have a ton in the Discord. Yeah. But I want to see a vote on emojis. Yeah. Hindenburg is gonna. <laughs> is that an emoji of Drake? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the one of Yonda. <laughs> wow. That's a uh, citizen science. I don't know. Do you ever go to Dirty River? That's the bike mechanic there, actually. I mean, I know you're making a joke, but. Oh, they said they're trying to hit the Freedom Trail of Kent next, so. Who said that? Where? Citizen. Oh, yeah. From where the studio is here in the falls. Is this lens hyperfocal? Um, I hear them. Let's see. <laughs> Um, I ride out a lot of times on the hike and bike trail to Kent, and then I'll come back on the Freedom Trail because I can make a loop out of it. Yeah. I like doing it the other way. Yeah, I'll do. Um, I like doing it a lot of ways. I mean, you got to keep it interesting. God damn it! I'm talking about the Freedom Trail. So that's all. Yeah. <laughs> I went through there the other night. I had to help my brother. He lives in Talmadge. Said I was setting up a router and stuff for him. And then I, 
I decided to make a loop out of it, went towards Kent, and the coyotes were going bonkers. Oh, really? Off, over there. By, On the what's Freedom? that road that goes over by the um, Monroe Falls, the lake there where you can swim? Monroe Falls. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It's called Monroe Falls Metro Park. What do you want from me? Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, they were going bonkers, and I turned on my my speaker just because I was like, oh, crap. They were very close. Wait, what did he say? Yeah, Tim does like (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) To me, it feels like when I'm going there on the Freedom Freedom Trail, uh, once you hit how, it's downhill the whole way. Wait, what is what is going on here? Wait, how many members does Tim want? Oh, the more the merrier. <laughs> um, Brad is jazzing so much. Might as well be Miles Davis. <laughs> you know what? Is oh, the, in the I'm, north side, yeah, Dirty Rivers in the north. They bought that old gas station now, so they yeah. moved from the north side marketplace across the street, but they're still in like. The north side area. So but. does Dylan think I'm fucking high as shit right now? Yeah. No. Oh. Aren't you? No. No. This is just how I am. <laughs> Do you like how I just woke up and just put naturally all my... this giggly? Yeah. yeah. I just woke up and put all my St. Patrick's Day stuff back on. Uh, I, had I someone thought a... you didn't change it all. I had someone ask me. <laughs> I was I was actually on a road trip, solo road trip, and I had this shirt on. I've had this shirt for like this thrift store shirt. Dublin though is down by Pudgy and near Columbus. That's where Wendy's was founded, actually, in Dublin. Someone said more history. So oh, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I do. Tying a couple things together. <laughs> anyway, but I stopped in the gas station to get some beer to go back to the camp, like where I was like camping. And the guy says to me, the gas station guy, he goes, Dublin High School. He goes, are you from Ireland? And we had already been talking. I was like, I was like, I think I'd have a different accent if I was from Ireland. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like. And I didn't say this, but I was also thinking, like, do you think, like, Dublin, Ireland just has Dublin High School? Like, they don't even call them high schools in the UK, do they? The answer is no. <laughs> how, uh, how the fuck would I know? <laughs> yeah, and... <laughs> I'll just never forget that. I mean, it was, like, 20 years ago. It's like... Tim hates when you don't react to his jokes. <laughs> yeah. And I... Tim still thinks we'll be here when the weather breaks. Who's going to tell him? Yeah. That's what I'm trying no, to say. No one else is going to be here. They're all going to be out riding. No, that's... And that's... <laughs> that was a damn rat. <laughs> no, that's what, what I'm saying. Already. Like, if we don't... Because I'm stoned. No. I'm <laughs> I also think a big part of this whole thing is COVID. A lot of us are sitting home alone. And You're... Oh, yeah. Like, it's Pudgy... <laughs> like, Pudgy has said that. He was like, no, this is like... It's a way to have community when we can't go do anything else. So, yeah, I don't know if it'll be a thing. Uh, if people still want to hang out and do it, then we'll find a way to do it. Uh, if not, then, yeah. No, that's true. Something like this doesn't just go away. It's cool. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, you're, <laughs> oh, you're so nice, Brad. <laughs> Look at you supporting. It's, uh, I think that might be one of the first times. It's got something supportive of my endeavors. <laughs> what the f- why do you think i'm even here <laughs> i i bought one of your first bullshit shirts <laughs> oh, i love that shirt though. Yeah. they're good sh- I had professional designers make it it's not like i did uh, it um where are we <laughs> you hear me? i knew it Oh, uh, but he said he told someone was from New England. He was from New England. And they couldn't believe he didn't have a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> Not old England, New England. Uh, yeah, 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 the new one. It's much better than the old one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told you about that when we were on tour. We played in Florida for the first time ever. I'm from New Hampshire, and you could barely hear the hamsters in my voice anymore. <laughs> Uh, I feel like um, I feel like we should know citizen science in IRL. I feel, but, yeah. That was a kind of a gimme. I think. Yeah. Uh, um. Virtual circle jerk. HS guy. High socks guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Stranger. Old Stranger. <laughs> <laughs> I actually wore a different shirt that a different friend made. Yeah, Micah. Yeah. It's good. Oh, wait. I figured Show it again. Th- oh. Uh, Ride bikes, pet cats. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like when I went to Kenny's house, who makes beer and took a different uh, brewery's beer to his house. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, why would you bring his beer? He's going to have those. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't have them in his house. So I was surprised. What does he drink? Uh, that's a good question. Right now, he's not drinking. Oh, is he back in one of those phases? Yeah. Well, he's lost a bunch of weight. And making me jealous. But he goes through, get... Kenny goes through phases where he like, he quits for a while. Yeah. And it's amazing. I can't believe he has that kind of fucking willpower. No, it's, yeah. It was two years ago, Saint, <laughs> two years ago, March, where I quit up from February until St. Patrick's Day. And we we're still doing the group rides. And I realized like, I was, I was so miserable. I'm like, I do. Because like, you were sober. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> I obviously need. This year has not been good, and I, like, in general need to cut back. But, like, cutting it out completely, I was not a happy person. It didn't do any good. Like, when we were going out and, like, doing our rides, like, and everyone's, like, standing around the shop, I'm like, can we get going? Yeah, LaCroix. And... LaCroix. Yeah. Thanks, Kenny. Kenny drinks LaCroix instead of beer? He had a, he had multiple, like, uh, sparkling waters. What's my, my friend, uh, the other Brad, who was on, on Tuesday... Or last Thursday, yeah, last Thursday. Do you hear that, my my friend, the other Brad? I said, my other friend. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, sensitive much? <laughs> yeah. You know that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he actually brought me some uh, uh, kombuchas he made. Is that how, kombucha. Like I said, you're such a dad about. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Ah, this new fancy fermented. I think they make it. Kind of like they make beer. Yeah, I, don't. I think they make it from mushrooms. Yeah, why? I don't know why we went to like a Canadian, like a what's that a uh, movie by the Coen Brothers? Oh, that one. Where, where they have the accent, the northern accent. Fargo. Fargo. And it's why not are we talking Canada. like we're from Fargo? <laughs> yeah. But it's by Canada. It gets on the border. It, yeah, it's a, we're by Canada. You're by we're Canada. By... <laughs> you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> We're like one lake away from Canada. What was I? Why was I talking about that? Anyways, because the accents. Yeah, but before, what was the point of this? Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, I totally <laughs> forgot. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it couldn't have been that important. Dylan can't say kombucha without laughing. <laughs> now, uh, <clears throat> kombucha. I like it. Kombucha. Yeah, but that's actually been a really. Um, so he brought a bunch up here when he came. Yeah, I was wondering why you had it in your fridge because I cannot picture you doing that. Because again, so he's just making them in those bottles. That's not what. Yeah, another Fargo mention. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> those are like a great thing because they taste like a sour beer, and so that's what I like before St. Patrick's. They Day, do I, have alcohol in them. Yeah, it's like <laughs> one of those. when I was like, like really like being like on, like let's cut back a little. That's like one thing that worked pretty well because I could get that sense of. Without getting the shakes. That kind of flavor. Yeah, yeah without... Yeah. <laughs> Still got the shakes. Right? Got the shakes worse. Um, two retracted mech, uh, messages from Urbanowski. Oh, man. That's got it. No, there's three. God. We got to look up the admin settings. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on with the chat? I'm I'm falling behind. Oh, now he's just <laughs> retracting all of his. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we gotta ride bikes with that guy. <laughs> Literally, the caption for all of Tim's streams. What did that go back to? Uh, what's the point of all this? Yeah. Oh, I don't, there's no point to all of this. We all know that. But <laughs> large part, he just typed message. <laughs> you can tell he typed it because yeah, it's there. Yeah, because it's... There's no point to any of this. I think we all know that. You yeah. guys started tuning in because you thought I knew something about bikes, yeah. and then it turned out you all figured out real quick you all knew what more than me. What if we made a TV show about nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he actually did. He retracted. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Sorry if I'm laughing too loud. Oh, boy. 
Oh, yeah, I'm sure you're... I mean, it's peaking like crazy. <laughs> Message back, Ali aborted. <laughs> Uh. Oh, yeah. What do you want to talk about bikes, Kenny? Oh, yeah. Kenny wanted to talk about bike. 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 <laughs> Just what's bike like We're only talking about one bike here. Pick one. Hello, friends. Would you to... like to talk about bike? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How may I bike you today? Oh, Dylan got the joke. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> 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 wow. Wow. Unsubscribe. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we unsubscribe? <laughs> uh, this is more like it. Uh, let's start making fun of them. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's right. Why am I sitting here always taking it? Yeah. I yeah. could be dishing it out. All right. <laughs> bike, just one. Yes. Yeah, just one. Correct. One bike. Bike. Pick oh. one. Let's yeah. talk about it. Pick a bike. Someone. <laughs> <laughs> it will say banana like a hundred times. I'll let you. I'll let you yes, have please. the joy. Large you know, super chatted two dollars. Banana, 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 banana. <laughs> Message retracted. Banana, 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 banana. <laughs> Uh, banana, banana, banana. Uh, Message retracted. Banana. What's that called when you're not a francophile, but for English people? When you're not a francophile? Or wait, when you are. You know what I mean. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, Anglophile. Just the English version. Yeah, Anglophile. Yeah, that's you. I'm an Anglophile? A little I'm bit. a Francophile, you mean? No. Why do oh, you... Anglophile music, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Music wise, yes. Bike yeah. wise, I'm a. We're kind all of a caught Frank, up now. Francophile. <laughs> Deal with those stupid French threads. God, they're a nightmare. French what? French threads. Everything French threaded is different. It's not the standard. So like trying to convert an old French bike to modern stuff. Oh. Is that... Simplex doesn't have like a stop like for the B B limiter screw on derailleurs. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking bikes. Um, so you actually have to file one in, and they're not tapped, so it's held by Thanks, pressure. Patrick. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, to put to upgrade French bikes to anything before eighty three, you have to do a lot of Fat work. Trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Fat trick. You thought that was what you meant? <laughs> That's called humor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then the bottom so the bottom brackets are different the head tube is a different size mm -hmm. the c tube is a different mm -hmm. size mm -hmm. but the worst is the rear derailleur because you have to you have to tap it out oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> you are the, it's like i got i didn't know i was inviting beavis and butthead on tonight yes you did yeah i did, yes, you yeah, did. Yeah, I did know that <clears throat> this is what you wanted Secretly. <laughs> Are you getting a lot of uh, good stuff out of that iPad there? Oh, yeah. I forgot to turn it on. I don't think you oh. need it. I just... Man, it was a joke. Cause you... There we go. There we go. <laughs> it was a black screen for the record. I'm just going to start looking at memes. <laughs> <laughs> should be like that guy who's famous on TikTok just for reading memes now have you seen him mm -mm. oh you pretend like you don't watch tiktok <laughs> just <to> infuriate you <laughs> oh no I haven't, I haven't heard that <laughs> so bikes so anyways bikes i was talking about bikes and oh that's right you were talking about super boring part of bikes. <laughs> <laughs> i really zoned. you like bikes i tuned you out though yeah mm -hmm. Hardcore. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that what's going to happen to Americans? Like, with what, the bikes? imperial system? Like, no one's going to... They're just going to ignore stuff after a while? Because everyone's on metric? Isn't that kind of what you're saying? With the way the French are doing? Holy smokes. What? The, 
are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind. We'll let the chat catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think the French thing was just that they're... I think they felt like they were selling to the domestic market and they just could have their own standards. And then the bike boom happened and they started shipping them overseas and it was a... Not their own standards, like, you know, like uh, imperial standards or like metric standards or... France has always been metric. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> no, Citizens you, out. You have a good evening. Yeah, thanks for joining us, man. That was um, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a conversion issue. They just... They made stuff their own I side. told you I stopped paying attention, so yeah. I was trying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah Citizen, glad you stopped by, though. That was, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, say what's up, IRL, and we don't have to blow your identity. That's not, that's, <laughs> that's not funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Look at Yeah>. A robot. <laughs> what was that? Got a super chat coming through. <laughs> That's why. That's Pudgy Pedal oh, pushes super chatted $1.99. Peanut, 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 floppy Johnson, banana, uh, banana, 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 banana. Banana is fun. Well, you remember in Ohio Jerry, that lady kept saying, I'll take banana. The dirty banana. The ba- <laughs> She was saying dirty banana. That was the name of the drink she was ordering. Oh yeah, the dirt dirty banana. Banana. They had a kid with them though. <laughs> they were teaching them to say banana too. She was British. You sure? That's why she was saying it like that. Dirty <laughs> banana. <laughs> and you guys were all losing your shit. Dude, who isn't gonna lose their shit? So we were at some a Brit- uh, we've talked about here. Dirty this banana. Springfield, right? Oh, fucking no, man. not Springfield. What was the tiny little town that everybody likes south of there? Yellow Springs. Oh. Or Yellow Springs. Where we're, Antioch College was? Yeah. We were doing Ohio to Erie, but like we've talked about on the stream before, we did the, we went over to Springfield, then went south and stopped in Yellow Springs, and the other Brad wanted to stop in Yellow Springs. Oh, yeah, because we were at but the But none of the breweries bar. were open. Yeah, yeah, and we're yeah, like, yeah. let's get lunch somewhere. And like the vegan spot he <laughs> wanted to go to. She was, was asking for the frozen bana- banana, but she wanted the dirty banana. Yeah. And so we're, we're sitting just covered in, this... in nuts. <laughs> <laughs> so we were So we're sitting there eating our lunch, and we all got like, it was like a smoothie specialty place. And I got one of their, like, what's the uh, marijuana hemp stuff that's not, doesn't get you high? I got one of those drinks. CBD. CBD, yeah. yeah. But then we're you sitting did? there. Yeah. I was like, why not? Why not try it? You know? And everyone's like, did it help? Well, I was having that horrible <laughs> sciatica pain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, was like, I thought you meant with your. What helps is 10 Advil personality. and 15 beers. Yeah. Like, but, um, <laughs> my personality. <laughs> But this lady walks up to the counter and she keeps saying, like, I'll have the dirty banana. Yeah. But she, but why did she keep repeating it? She said it like Cause five she, times. Because I don't think she was actually British. <laughs> Pudgy Pedal Pusher Super Shattered $1.99. Large Marge Ooh. works at Dirty <laughs> Banana. Yanda bicycle penis. work Yanda Peanut. Oh, wait. <laughs> Dylan's out. All right. Oh, Dylan said he usually, in the Discord, he said he usually leaves by 10.30 because it gets weird after 10.30. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, he's weird. But he said it got weird Wait. before 10.30. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it started weird. Yeah. That's, that's the energy I bring to this group. <laughs> yeah. When I hadn't rode with you guys in a while, when I was recovering from, and then when I was working. From your butt stuff. Yeah. No. The tendonitis. Tendinitis, tendinitis. <laughs> Brad asked me once he got he had tendinitis. He said, and he said he's like, but there's one worse than tendinitis. tendinitis. And I said, eleven tendinitis. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the funniest thing you've ever fucking said. One worse, yeah. 
11 tinnitus. <laughs> 11 tinnitus? It yeah. was good. It was and it, I didn't skip a beat either. That's what made it good. Uh, Anyways, what were you going to say? Oh, man. Now I'm distracted. Uh, I forget. Tendonitis. You didn't ride for a while because tendonitis. I didn't ride for a while, and I started riding with you guys again after a, a bit. And Otis, I think it was the nicest thing he's ever said to me. He's like, Brad brings the right just the amount of unhinged that this group needed. <laughs> <laughs> You, have, you think it's going to go off the rails, but it never quite does. And I was like, oh, man, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said about me. <laughs> <laughs> Just the right amount of unhinged. Uh, did Kenny still want bike stuff, or did I annoy everyone with the he's French? He's gone, man. He left a while ago. French uh, threadings. Yeah, I stopped listening, and I'm standing right here. <laughs> <laughs> Tendonitis, Isis, yes, that's correct. Are you watching? What? Are you watching your actual metrics while you're talking, so you can tell like if you're what you're saying is cool or not? Yeah. You know? yeah. Let's huh. See where they drop off. It looks like when when I start talking. When I talked about the French <laughs> stuff, when I talked about the French stuff, it spiked. It peaked. And then, and then you keep talking. <laughs> yeah, and then I drop <laughs> What's next for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, are we doing Erie till Ohio? Wait. Yeah, we've been debating. Or are you guys doing Erie? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been debating mixing that up. Like, I was talking to <clears throat> Terry about, like, when he popped on, too, about doing, like, the New York trip instead. Or we're talking about doing the Michigan trip that Ben found. But we're like, the nice thing about Hydro Erie is there's no logistics. Like, I mean, there's there are logistics, but it's just... Yeah. Running a car home. Yeah, like, that, yeah. The other stuff, it gets into multiple cars if there's more than a few of us. And I also... Ooh, Rick's doing a overnighter up in the mountains. Oh, nice, man. Drop some photos when you get out there and do it. But uh, What kind of hammock? Out of curiosity. They had showed some... I don't know if Rick... I, don't I think, think Kenny's in the market for a bike packing tent, too. I, what do you have? You because he's looking at Kenny's looking at a Nemo. Mine's um, a Nemo. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, and I I have, didn't know anything about him. I went when REI opened. I walked up there and like told the lady like, who helped because they had all those big sales. What I was trying to do. I'm like, I'm not a backpacker. It's going to be bike packing. But yeah, it was a big. Oh, Kenny's still here. <laughs> yeah, baby. So, but yeah, the Nemo I really like. Because they, they... <laughs> it's light and small. Let's see if it's... Fucking pudgy, man. <laughs> what do you say? Banana hammock. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Shit, that's the name in the background behind Ben a second. They they have a new bike packing specific version that's similar to the... What do I have? The Big Agnes with the bike packing poles? The shorter poles? Mm. How t how tall is this? Kenny's pretty? T <laughs> you definitely got the shorter pole. <laughs> <sighs> That's the Nemo in the background. Um, That's a good picture, Ben. Ben's very photogenic. Or Marge is very photogenic. Yeah, he's handsome. <laughs> Why did you laugh when you said that? Because it was funny. It sounded insincere. You're insincere. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a quality. Um. Oh man, you weren't joking when you said you still use Flickr. You are a fucking dad. <laughs> <clears throat> Full quality uploads, man. Full That's quality true. uploads. Man, look at that stash. Oh, there's Carl. Oh wait, no, that was uh, Gabe. Sorry. You just saw the stash and beard. It just totally sounds like you're talking nonsense, everyone. I don't have this up on the screen. That's fine. So this is a short pole, bro. I'm used to that. <laughs> Kenny's 5'10". So I've talked about this too, but one of the big deals for me was my frame bag can uh, fit the tent poles. Mm. So <laughs> like one thing, I think God my damn. rally is an equivalent 60, and it's pretty typical bike geometry. It has a slight slant to the top tube. But 
this one. That wouldn't work for a lot of people because you have to have your tent poles. If, like when I used to tour on like my other vintage bikes, they'd be popping out of the panniers so they couldn't be waterproof. Why is everything <laughs> gay to you? It's just the way you're talking and the way your face looks. <laughs> <laughs> the way my face looks. Uh, anyways. <laughs> But yeah, so the Nemo not being bike pack specific uh, works for me really well because the poles fit in the frame bag. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing was more dead than marijuana weed drink. <laughs> Hundy P, buddy. He's, he's, he's right. I mean, when he's right, he's right. <laughs> he's often right. I Good to finally put a face with a pole. <laughs> Uh, uh, that I think the bike bike packing specific stuff makes total sense if you need to. How do you what, with your tent poles? Where were you packing those? <laughs> why is this? Why can I? Why can I have a car? <laughs> where are you packing your poles? <laughs> I'll get over it in a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. Yeah, that's true. They were everything in the Big Agnes. It's all. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even. He can't even control himself right now. <laughs> everything in the big. <laughs> he's, he's trying to compose himself, and he's completely failing. Okay, so this shows like. When I was touring on the Riviera, like I couldn't close. Do you see the tent is actually popping out of the bags? Um. <laughs> There's probably a, that one picture you showed where we're climbing the hill. You can see my the tent in the front. Pitch in the tent. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> You're a mess, Brad. <laughs> That's what Kenny said, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Man, nothing was more. Smile that makes it more legitimate. <laughs> you lost your wing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we have good information to share, and you're just yeah. I put yeah. No, Pudgy's correct. You put the mi- you shove the micro poles into Big Agnes. And it all fits. <laughs> right in the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is my original setup, but the problem was that that I couldn't put the rain cover on because the tent was sticking out the top. And then with the frame bag I have now, the Frost River one, the poles can go into the frame bag. But again... Your droopy bone? Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing I have the advantage of riding 60s that wouldn't work for anyone else though or not anyone else a lot of other people because the frame triangle isn't going to be big enough to be able to put the poles in. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> man good god get it together man <laughs> Ben, I'm doing great. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Should we do a piddle break and grab one more beer and come back and close this out? What time is it? 10.49. Oh, God. Yeah, Dylan's usually out by 10.30. <laughs> <laughs> He's a smart one. Right. How many pedal breaks do you usually take? It depends. It's, you know. Tonight's a two for. Well, I always do the thank you members <laughs> one, and then usually the <laughs> the pedal breaks speed up as this goes on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Fucking Rick. Who else do I? This is a. Well, plus, everyone's favorite thing is the piddle break video. They were mad at me because I was in the basement. I didn't load the piddle break <laughs> video onto the computer. And on Tuesday, everyone's like, wait, no piddle break video? What and I'm kind like, of weirdos are you fucking dealing with here? <laughs> yeah, I think you've... Oh, yeah. You're well acquainted. 
<laughs> oh, they can hear me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah just because you look at me doesn't. Yeah. Are you pedal breaking? Sure, fucking why not? I mean, you don't need a pedal. I mean, if you don't have to pedal, you don't have to pedal. I'm just gonna go right here. What up? <laughs> should I? Should I? Is that what I should do? Should I get like a catheter bag so I could just stand here and not have to piddle break? <laughs> I actually don't think you guys would be happy about that. Like I said, you were mad about me not having the piddle break video on Tuesday. So Rick said he hasn't laughed as much since he stole Tim's GoPro. <laughs> 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 uh, this fucking guy. <laughs> Sword fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yeah, you did say you had a question for me. Oh, Kenny, who typed in piddle and why didn't it work? Broadford. Oh, you'd used an I. It's an exclamation point. Right. What? Oh, how did I do that? I don't know you. So you do this. Have you seen this? <laughs> So we got commands that makes the bot do stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they... What's the... Is that the one that does the eggplant? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. No, it's pretty good. Oh, maybe it's not working? What do you think is the most... Since Kenny wants to talk about bikes. God, so lame. I know. Uh, and uh, <laughs> since I'm a mess... Uh, <laughs> And he's not drinking. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think is the most visceral upgrade like the for a bike? What do you mean by visceral for a bike? Like the I most mean, obvious. Hits you, hits you right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what yeah. is that? I, don't, I can't uh, think of it. Um, yeah, I don't know how else to put it. Uh, the biggest upgrade you can get for a bike. I, most people say uh, wheel set. Some people say bottom bracket. Other people say bike fit. Other people go as simple as, like, a different saddle. <laughs> I also used to not. <laughs> I made fun of him for using... Then make fun of him. Like, it's got to be an exclamation point that I uh, use. And large Marge is not going to let that slip. No, fuck no. Anyways, so the, <laughs> the biggest upgrade... For a bike, yeah. What's the biggest upgrade you can make for your bike? I feel like it's wheels, but then reading... When you say wheels, you mean wheel set, like hubs wheel set. and... Rims. But then reading Jan Hein's book that I'm reading right now, The um, All Road Bike Revolution, he seems to say that the... So we've always believed that the... <laughs> God damn it. Seat post. <laughs> He's worse than us. <laughs> yeah. But a lot of people have talked about... And by about, worse, I mean not as yeah. funny. The spinning weight is... Uh, I can't think of what the word is for that. What is... <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> but like the spinning weight affects stuff more. But I've even watched Pathless Pedal. Russ has talked about. Um, oh, you're on a first name basis now. That's his name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Stem Cap. Yes. 
streamers. <laughs> but circumcision. God, these guys are dicks. I feel like a light really like set them, does outweigh <laughs> other things, but in Jan Hines' book, he's saying it doesn't. But and I, those guys, I trust them, and they research stuff so well. But then, like I said, like when Russ is saying, he's like, no, when he puts carbon wheels on his bike, it's like a huge upgrade. But they're, Re- okay. they're so expensive. Yeah. But I do feel like that on, like even my Schwinn with the race lights, super lightweight wheels just seem to have an outsized effect on the overall weight of a bike. I don't know. Like, and they're saying weight doesn't even measure matter as much as people think. Like, but I really think a good wheel set is like the best thing you can do to upgrade a bike. Yeah. But I, no, that's, that's, that's the, (laughs) I mean, saddle has to fit you. The saddle has to be comfortable, but that's the, that's the typical wisdom though, that, uh, the wheel set is the biggest upgrade yeah and like they say bearings spin so fast and with the weight of everything that rotational weight yeah yep that's what i was trying to say but they say like the bearing thing like ceramic bearings and all that stuff is like in like the difference it makes is so nothing unless it's in a lab like it's not going to have a big effect on how your bike rides because it's just there's so much pressure on them and they're spinning so fast that it's just like so small. They were saying even by marginal gain standards that like bearings and nicer bearings don't make that much of a difference anywhere in your bike, even the wheel set. But I was thinking weight wise, I just really think wheels affect like light wheels just feel so much faster. I don't Hmm. Would you ever go um, carbon for rims? Yeah. You would? On um, my, just a road bike, though? On my pure road bike, I would like to have carbon rims. And uh, me and Kevin Butler have talked about this now that he has his carbon. Oh, yeah, because you, yeah. Isn't trading it out. over here somewhere? No, it's downstairs. Yeah, but trading out for my fast road bike to have a carbon wheel set. And that's a bike I only ride on smooth surfaces. But that's just it. For, yeah. For Kenny and for, for me, like, I can't imagine going carbon and otis says the and stupid, i'm not the stupid stuff we ride he says we really risk breaking them like yeah you know. yeah i mean yeah maybe i'm being too precious about it but yeah i mean i yeah kenny and that's yeah and that's what everybody says they notice a difference when the biggest difference the most visceral yeah uh, the even, one that you can feel even going the to set. the um, and they're not the lightest, but they're lighter. But the um, velocities I have on the um, rally velocities was, are fucking great. That felt like a. That felt like I. Do you have velocity like rims too? I mean, it's hubs. Full. Yeah, Sorry. hubs and rims. Yeah. yeah. One looks wise. They look awesome on like a red and white vintage looking bike with yeah. you know chromed out rims. But I think I sent Kenny a picture, but I was like this close to pulling the trigger on a. Uh, Fargo that had uh, purple velocity it was a purple Fargo oh, with yeah. purple velocity rims and uh, and velocity hubs too Large Marge had those uh, purple velocity ones he sold them to Woody, Woody. Yeah. they Woody. look fucking great on that bike but they match the Paul uh, Paul components purple exceptionally well Oh, you have a picture of Woody's bike? What's that? Oh, that's me. (sighs) This guy. Oh, man. You fucking love this, huh? Like, you get to talk nonstop. Nobody can interrupt you. You can choose who you want to interact with at any point, but Mm -hmm. you basically just get to talk ad nauseum. Yeah. I can. Okay. Yeah. This is perfect for you. But I mean, that's kind of what you're doing right now. Fuck. (laughs) <laughs> yeah that's the rally with the velocity but those obviously look sweet on a bike that was one of the requirements when they were talking about designing this rally to like guitar ted who helped design it was they wanted to have rally's vintage aesthetic and so i think this wheel set actually takes it to the next level because originally it had black rims on it which are those the aileron or aileron yeah yeah Little wings. That's the French translation. Fucking Anglophiles. 
Francophiles. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, I think I think uh, what Large Marge has those whiskey carbon rims on his uh And he's yeah. Pacer? And he's no. The zigzag. No, Pacer's Aaron's bike. Yeah. He has the uh zigzag. Zigzag, yeah. And he's the last person I think who would <laughs> get carbon. But then he yeah. But he's got all the he's got the carbon bars, carbon mm-hmm. seat posts. But he's trying to make that bike like yeah, it's pure road bike, yeah. yeah. Which is how he rode it in that the winds on that. What was the mid south what day was that? No, was he didn't, no, he rode the Gorilla Monsoon for Oh for his no. hundred, yeah, 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 yeah. No, he rode the yeah. The Zag. Yeah, let's we could show the Zag. It's a beautiful bike. It is. I love the colorway. I Someone was just asking me too. If, I think if, he was saying he liked the the newer version better, but I really like the one he has. Yeah. Don't they do a purple one too? A purple I think color? the newer one is the purple one, right? That's, or no, they no, do. The, they did two colors. The one hundred five versus Altegra. Is the purple, colors. the Altegra is the fire. Yeah. Because someone was asking me if All City does a road bike, a pure road bike, and I was like, eh. Mr. Pink, I guess. Yeah. Mr. Pink was, only fits up to thirty twos, right? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a pure road bike, in my opinion. Yeah, weight weenie shit, and that's kind of what Jan Hein was saying. Like the biggest weight is you as the rider. You know yeah. what I mean? And he did like they did these comparisons climbing up a like a I think it was a ten kilometer climb, and like dropping a Your kilogram purple. only added six seconds at the same power. Wow! So there's a difference, and if you're a world tour pro, and it means getting dropped out of the back of the peloton, that matters to the rest of us at the speed we're riding. It really doesn't. Yeah, so. I guess I'm not necessarily talking about like uh, weight. But the weight. feels, yeah. Yeah, the feel. Like the, the first feels. time I rode. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's nice. That's fine. Yeah. Don't worry. Just let it go. Gross. Uh, yeah. The first time I rode uh, a, a bike with AXS, uh, the the Shram's electronic stuff, that was visceral. That was like, holy mm. shit, this feels amazing. Uh, the you know when you're riding a one by, it's often that you feel like there's steps missing, and yeah. uh, and I did not get that feeling on the higher end stuff. Um, it was very smooth. It was very. I didn't have to think about it. Is I wish I. I almost wish I never wrote it because I just keep thinking about it. Yeah. Wait, I think Kenny actually upgraded to that too. Doesn't he have that on his space horse? He went to electronic shifting. Yeah, that motherfucker. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel as bad when he drops off the crawlers anymore. No, no, and he also <laughs> he guy's... also got the clampers, the Paul clampers for oh. the brakes too. So God, I want the Paul clampers. I know they look so good. <laughs> I'm I want to get the the white crank set. That's and racist. Then it's going to be the black white crank set. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you feel better. Yeah. No. And then, but I do eventually, the I, BB7s are fine. They're fine. I don't care what anyone says. They're perfect. They're perfectly serviceable. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just listening. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then... Eventually, the Paul Clampers. I was thinking, the thing I like about the Paul Clampers is they're fixable. Like, all the parts you can take, the Paul Clampers, you can take everything apart and keep, they're like lifetime. They're like brakes you'll have forever. Well, BB7s are, oh, go on, sorry. Yeah. I just think, I like the idea that they're simple. They're like well-machined, simple devices that you can like, they're very easy to set up yourself. They're easy to modify yourself. They're easy to replace the parts that yeah. break yourself. I, my TRPs, I don't like. I feel like I can barely like manage them. Like TRPs are good though. They are not bad. They're not bad. They're not bad mechanical disc brakes, but I don't feel like they outperform. I want yeah. I've I talked would about have this a before. Harder they don't outperform that, my yeah. nine speed Durace, no. my seventy eight hundred Durace rim brakes. They don't. Good night, Kenny. 
See you, Kenny. God damn it. <laughs> you're gonna just you're gonna acknowledge yeah. that comment? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking ignore it like I ignore your bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The Paul Clampers, is like, I just feel like you spend the money, it's the same thing. But you're going to, they're going to go from bike to bike. You're going to have them. Yeah. Yeah. I, and they're a lot, like 300 bucks up. They're piece. expensive. Yeah. I was saying I buy a front one first. So I drop that money. Like, you don't need to get a set. There's nothing that says that. You know what I mean? Like, so get a, get one and then save your money. And then when you have the time or the money to get the second one, get the second one. Symmetry. Yeah. I know. How much do you look at your disc brakes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look at the <laughs> no, disc, that's a good point. But the actual like calipers and stuff, yeah. you really don't pay a lot of attention to. I'm it. trying to get the because I have the 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 Swift Industries the front bag the shit they posted the name of it. Fuck. Um, the uh, banana boat. Yeah, yeah, the banana boat bag, ice and, cream uh, truck, or something. Yeah, right? and I'm trying to get the matching sugar loaf. Sugar. Oh, you got it. Thanks. Good job. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are so happy about that. A little bit. Uh, yeah. And then I was trying to get the matching zeitgeist bag. Mm, I got the black zeitgeist coming tomorrow. Did you? Nice. See, that's how excitable I get. Um, <laughs> but the the coyote one, or as Neil says, diarrhea brown. Um, <laughs> I told him no. Your sugar loaf's the green. No, one. it's pronounced coyote. <laughs> no, it's coyote. Were you waiting for a response from that? You like paused with that. That's just called theatrics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there they said I, I I wrote them about it and they said it's not gonna be ready till May. Oh, look how much it dived down. When is that? God, is that when I start talking? <laughs> that's steep. Oof, that's a steep one. That's when we start talking about bikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I so Dylan actually well Dylan's gone now, but he had posted that REI has they sell Swift. What? And so he's like, I've got a um so you know how REI I does the um what do you call the I was like, Who's this? Stream elements. Yeah, yeah. It's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> Dividends? Yeah. So, like, when we were in New York, I spent a bunch at REI because Aaron kept blowing out those tires. <laughs> so, like, Even then, too? That's when it started. So we got some tubes, a new tire. And then, and then you guys did, the, your, we did it, oh, hi to Aaron, she... This is the after. Oh, yeah. God. So then we got a bunch of snacks and all that, so I, like... Oh, hey, snacks. I had a um, dividend as well, and yes. he's like... So everyone was talking about how on Swift site the Zeitgeist was sold out. Yeah. Zeitgeist and the um, what's the new one, smaller one that Aaron wanted? Uh, begins with the C. Yeah, the Catalyst. The Catalyst. Yeah. So I went on and they had it, and they're like, "There's a couple left," and I'm like, "It was only in black," but I'm like, "Oh, you got the Catalyst?" Yeah, because I'm thinking saddlebag with the because I want to put the Brooks onto the rally, and then I'm like. And I mm. want to move the weight to the front on that bike so it's more of a bike pack. Because mm. I've got a cycle touring setup that I'm happy with. But for if we do any of the, like the Michigan stuff we're talking yeah. about or do like some more Mohican type stuff, which I yeah. want to do this summer. Yeah. So I figure I start with the Zyka, I see how much I can get in there, my frame bag, and then I come up with the front solution for the bike, you know? Oh, boy. These fucking guys. Uh, <laughs> I actually have the, was what, what it the Rela? Revelate, um, what's the big oh. butt, bug butt one? Bug butt? That's what, that's what I've heard people call it. Oh, when it yeah, sticks out the back of your bike. Yeah. And uh, can you have to lower your bike to get your leg up over. And yeah. I'm getting older, and uh, and you start to feel that in your hips a little bit more. So I thought the zeitgeist would be a little easier. And I was worried about it, but we were talking in the Discord because the... Um, what do you call them? Voile straps? Voile. Voile? Oh, well, I have no fucking idea. It's filet. Like... I, I thought Russ was saying bois with a B for everybody. Vo- like... Bois? Yeah. But then I looked up and searched the V, so it's like filet straps. Filet. <laughs> filet. Filet. That's what I said. No, it is. Well, I said voile. 
<laughs> like okay. olive oil. So I was really worried about uh. those, but they were saying like they can support that weight because I'm like, Brooks Saddles, those those clips are sharp. Oh no, I'm gonna get the the that cl- that it's like ninety five bucks. Oh, that up. moves it out the back. Mm-hmm. With the Brooks Saddle, they're set up not to need that. So if you're running with a Brooks Saddle, you don't need that extra. I have piece. been. Oh, that's something you didn't know. I've been riding that Cambium. Oh, uh, you're running the Cambium. So it doesn't have the classic. So, yeah, that piece that you're talking about, mm-hmm. I don't know what that sets back with the clamps, yeah. is for saddles that only have rails. I thought I was going to hate the Cambium because everyone's hated it. Everyone, yeah, we were talking about this. Yeah, and I, it's been fine. Maybe I'm just fat enough now that it works. No, I. I don't think it's. A, I don't think that would be the issue. But like all of our friends who have gotten the cambiums have not liked no, it. No, because you're the first one to like it, and that's not a negative. I mean, yeah. they sell a lot of them. People like them. I mean, Albert rode one, and I when he got it, put it on the Mister Pink, uh, and he had it at the shop. Uh, I had to test ride it just to make sure everything was working, of course. And yeah. uh, and I rode that for an hour, and then, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's like, man, this bike rules. Uh, and um, and I didn't like it. I thought it was too bouncy, and I don't know what's different. Now. So you felt like it was bouncy. Okay. I but that was then. But I had rode a Physic saddle for Physique? whatever. Yeah. Just trying to keep my. Oh, now you're worried about. <laughs> really, they actually run that boat. I'm sorry. Yeah. You can't see that. I oh, we can make them see it. M- make them see it. They run that boat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I just thought it sat down in that fucking dock. Cause no, down in Canal Fulton, they actually take the and me and Ben were cracking. Because they up. have the oh, they got a tractor pony. Usually it's a the horse. horses were. They There's were, a horse. Yeah, the horses. Pony. There was something they had to think the horses were injured. And oh so, really? Yeah. Oh. But me and me and Large Mar, just me and him, we did a overnight, two nights. Did you go down to Bolivar? We went all the way to New Philly, and then we rode out to a campground that was like seven miles down the road from New Philly. Oh, okay. But um, when we passed the people, going to Bolivar. When we passed the people on the canal boat, they looked so bored and miserable because it goes <laughs> it's like going like three miles. miles now. It's like, yeah. oh, cool. and then we're like, no, it's better to see it in action. You don't want to ride on one. It's not a fucking roller coaster. The C fifteen, yeah, I'm riding a C seventeen cambium i do i was asking about the c15 i think that's the narrower version right and uh what's the wider c oh, pudgy one? rides the cambiums huh yeah i ride b7. b7 c19 is what all the gravel dudes talk about right now that's like that's the new hotness but i'm not sure a broadford likes them too huh meanwhile rick is fossilizing <laughs> I I just that's I love been it. happening for like the last fifteen years yeah. though, right? Yeah. I love leather tension saddles though. The B seventeen is just dude. I know it's it's yeah. so comfortable. Yeah. I was talking. I would. I I think I might like a B fifteen more, but we'll see. Um, There's a B fifteen. Are you sure? Oh my god, this guy. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna you wanna fight about this? No. Do you want to, what was the uh what you the bike tire size you didn't believe me when I said? Ah, uh, let's not get into that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get into it. I had this what is that the swallow on this bike originally? And it Gross. that was Stu's. Uh that's a really narrow leather brooks one. But I switched Oh the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the swallow, you're right, yeah. I rode this bike yesterday, but with the uh Stu my, is fucking great. Yeah. I have a black B seventeen on it now. The other thing about this bike is it's super squish. It's cheap steel. It's heavy. Um, but, like, riding on the gravel, this bike is so soft. And yeah. Like, and it's, like, one of those things, too, where you always feel like... Because that's the one you, you rip on, that one, when we get on the gravel, when yeah. we get on the rougher stuff. Yeah. Everyone says, like... Until you put a, a log through the fucking derailleur. Yeah. <laughs> rip that 105 derailleur to pieces. <laughs> but um, it's one of those weird things where it's, like... It's, this is a bike boom bike. It's not expensive. This bike is so comfortable. Like, it has so much give. And I was just uh, reading Jan Hines' book. He was talking about planing. He's like, sometimes your pedal stroke is in sync with the way a bike moves and bends. Mm-hmm. And I was like thinking that yesterday when we got out and we rode the gravel. Yeah. And I was just like, 
okay, this is a shitty bike. It's sentimental. This is Jeff's that's what bike, but like, I'm like, because <laughs> it's low hanging fruit. Yeah, <laughs> I think I was yelling at Yonder the whole way home. I'm like, oh, you're gonna put my dead friend's bike into your truck like that? Yeah, right. see, this is, you got a you're yeah. starting to Rick. You're opening a can of worms yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> How could Brad not laugh at I did laugh, oh, but uh, I swallowed it. <laughs> but it is. It's still something that I'm like, I can't even explain the like, comfort level of that bike. It, there's just something about it. It's, And it's not, like I said, I only build it up because it is sentimental. But like... I'm like it's there's... a fucking rad bike. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. Sentimental. <laughs> 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 Me and Rick are gonna start crying again, dude. I shouldn't, Man, Rick. Uh, that that was a great episode. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I can't go back and watch it, but I believe I'll take your word for it. It was. It was good. You didn't almost. You didn't know. Almost didn't know how to react to it, but it was. It got. To me, it was beautiful. I don't mm. care. Uh, I do yeah. want to have Rick back out when, back on when we could just like joke and he could make his give me your number jokes and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And but yeah, Pudgy, I would swallow because that's the polite thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> not that there's anything wrong. Not that there's <laughs> there's nothing wrong. It's natural. <laughs> Lots of trail on the... Yeah. Wait, is that an innuendo? Yeah, we had talked... <laughs> we had talked about that, but... Yeah, the... Um, thumbs up on Rick's stream. Th- yeah, JMV. But um, we had talked about this, too, on a couple of the other streams. Um, I'm trying to find it while I talk about it. But So when my rally goes down, I had some problems with that when I was upgrading stuff I was riding the Riviera and we did some gravel riding and I picked up a stick it whipped around oh yeah caught, and oh, I had like a pretty nice modern 105 derailleur on that bike and it just shredded it like and I was like ah, oh, this is like one of the nicer like, I you. can't believe how it just trashed it thoroughly it shredded it it was yeah so what what do I need to do to it was like Right up in there. <laughs> right through the derailleur. Like, it was like thick as my wrist. We like, really went like finding like these crazy off road trails and it like. Yeah, it destroyed it. What are they called? The salt mines? The salt flats. Salt it? flats. Which I don't understand why it's called the salt flats. Because it's. Can you elaborate on that? I believe that say um, there used to be salt mines back there. Oh, interesting. <laughs> is it though <laughs> i'm gonna find that video and put it on in the background but uh, that was a good that was a fun ride oh, oh there's there the is. there's the tent oh kenny left oh that's kenny all right here we go you're gonna just play it and we have to can we'll, they hear us talking we'll, yeah we'll be up here oh oh that's what it looks like yeah I think sorry we took a wrong turn yeah me too Oh yeah, that's right. I have overlay rock. Oh no, it's someone else has them. Oh, These are salt flats, yeah. And I did it on the top shoot shifting. Yeah. The 870s. Which is the I think that's Because I can't. I don't know. <laughs> you just kind of get used to it. Then you have the big jump with the um, front chain. You know what I mean? So, oh, that's me. That's you. Just cranking along. I love this slow motion. Gabriel was making fun of the jump part. We were kind of a little like jump part. He's like... When we're jumping like a badass, like when a we're jumping like a 
Oh yeah, I'm playing this now. I'm gonna get a copy of this Oh, nice. Oh yeah, this is when Kenny gave me the this thing. This is when he had to drink out of his bag. He's like, why you... Oh yeah, he's... <laughs> his beer exploded. Boom. Sick of that. Sick of that. Sick of Got a little... Yeah, yeah there he goes. <laughs> his crawler exploded in the bag, so he drank it out of his hip bag. Oh, that's the buyer, isn't it? Is this where we end? Oh yeah, that's what that was. We found that weird steel structure that we ended up at. Yeah, this. Some collapsed. Oh, this is where Brian got cut up in the barbed wire. The barbed wire. Barbed wire, barbed wire. Oh, that's a derailleur crash up there. So I went single speed home. And Otis put in too easy of a gear. And I like had like... We were saying when we were talking about that first ride earlier at Honda Hills. And um when you were like we were all like, okay, let's stop and have a beer here and you're like, wait, what do you mean we're riding bikes? And we're like Pudgy. Jesus Christ. Fred Smith here told us the B and H photo helped change his life. Just... Fred. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, your first ride, weren't you saying That's when we something stopped? I would say to him. You're uh, like, we're only like ten miles in and we like stop, we've been off roading, we're like, Oh, let's crack a beer and Dude, last night we Otis stopped us like we weren't even three miles in. He's like, Let's drink a beer and I was like, God damn it. But you said the first time you came out with us, you were like Hey, what do you mean? I thought we were like gonna ride bikes. That's yeah, like, why would you drink a beer in the middle of a fucking bike ride? That makes no that makes zero sense. And now I can't imagine <laughs> going on a bike ride without drinking a beer in the middle. That's the best point. That's the best time to drink that's, a beer. That's why we do it. When your blood oxygen and everything is yeah. That's called saving money. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone tries to trigger me once I'm a little buzzed, you know. I love that they're all trying to push your buttons because that's, yeah. <laughs> that's basically what I do. <laughs> I love that there's a whole website dedicated to pushing your buttons. That's, yeah. yeah. Fuck. This is great. The internet's fucking glorious. <laughs> you got a lot of videos out now. Do we got another Brad ride I'm on here to play in the background? Up. No. <laughs> uh, oh, that's one. You're on this one, right? Yeah, that, yeah, that's the one with the mirrors, isn't it? Yeah. Our friend Michael. Heads up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. Does that echo? <laughs> it's called reverb. Oh man, we should put some sick effects, dude. <laughs> Look at that drone work. Is that like the as far as you can get with the drone? I mean, from, from from your front porch. Yeah, I could I flew all the way to the gorge down. Just that like <laughs> We had some cool trails on this one. Yeah, this is a good one. Watching the sunset over at that weird it's like a freeway construction zone. Honestly, my favorite rides are where I have zero idea where we're going. Yeah. Yeah. I like, if you can't tell, I like going nowhere fast. <laughs> <laughs> Large Marge comes up with these routes. Uh, he's the best. Yeah. 
This is like right in the center of the city. Like this is like you know. Yeah, it's like a dead zone. Yeah. But that's that's kind of what makes the Rust Belt special. Yeah. That's that's what the industrial gravel thing comes yeah. from. It's like, what is? How do you describe this? There's like, dead zones in the middle of yeah. giant metropolis. Yeah. And, uh, Old and foundations on both sides. And like, there are ours for the taking. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Where where someone dumped a bunch of old concrete. Where con- <laughs> Yeah. Where contractors dump all their concrete. Yeah. That's, that's me. There's me. <laughs> yeah, look at this. This is literally in the center of the city. No one knows about this. We're fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> I would. I feel bad for the people that live. Oh yeah, that's what you want to start lighting up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like let's, let's blow some shit up. Yeah. This is where you got that picture. There's, yes. there's me and Kenny. There's Large Marge. Large Marge. <laughs> you do got some echo in here. Look at that. I like that I looked at sound. <laughs> oh, look at that sound. Uh, fucking Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hobbs Lessons is here. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, buddy. That old. <laughs> really? That's what gets you? Yeah, that's, that that's finally. Like... <laughs> finally, you got... It's not like got a <laughs> genuine chuckle. Yeah. Yeah. First time yeah. tonight. Fucking write it down. Maybe your son. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. That... Mm, no, Pat's from fucking Akron, and so is... He's, tri- he's trying to trigger you. Oh. Well, and so is Dan, technically. So, and so is LeBron. And, and, yeah, yeah, so. It's bullshit. Bullshit next. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep it keep going. No spear is only supposed to a placebo effect. Uh, this is a 10%, so fuck off. It is? No, I don't know. I just oh. made that up. Um, <laughs> does it say? It's from Kenny's favorite brewery. <laughs> He's gone. I right? know, that's why oh, I said shit. it. Yeah. I would not have said that <laughs> if he was still here. Yeah, so we go to this one brewery all the time, and Kenny really gets mad about it because we go there more than his brewery. <laughs> I don't know. I equal. He doesn't. You know, you, you're right. I go to I go to Kenny's brewery more because it's closer. What video is? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So this is the ad that popped on after that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? 
All right, well, let's go. What are you putting up here? It doesn't fucking say. Shouldn't it say that he's... Wait. ABV on here? ABV is the term, yes. Thank you. Oh, it's only a seven. <laughs> what do you think? Should we wind this up? or? We've going... been winding it up for a while. Yeah, are you, I mean, yeah. are you still going strong or should we... Oh, my watch died. <laughs> yeah, it's 11.30. Let's, uh... uh, yeah. Anyways, well, let's thank our guest. Oh. That's you. Shit. Nah. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, well, I don't have a GoPro, so there'll be no videos until I go live next Tuesday. <laughs> but he did expedite the shipping on the GoPro 9. Yeah, I did. And I'm, like I said, I would... I would I would trade the money to have the memory card out of the other GoPro back Ooh. because I have stuff shot that I wanted to, wanted to post. But, um, yeah, it sucks. It sucks. It just sucks all around, and I'm just trying. Why get upset? You, like they say, if you get upset about the past, you're wasting Jim your Jim Jarmusch is from Cuyahoga Falls. Yeah. yeah. And he is probably mostly dead by now. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer's from Bath, my hometown. Yeah, that's not... Uh... Nice to meet you, man. Fuck you, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so like I said, I'm bummed I lost that memory card because there was at least three videos worth of material on it. Um, and I even told myself the night before St. Patrick's Day, transfer this footage because it's St. Patrick's Day and you're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> and you know you're an idiot. And, and so. Are you a, would you say you're a, a yin yang lizard fucking sort of idiot? Or No, I've never got a, I've never got a tattooed where I replaced a lizard's head with a yin yang. What about like a Sasquatch slam dunking a yin yang forehead? That would be sweet. Thanks. That's it. Okay. All right. Okay, bye. All right. Okay, yeah. this time. <laughs> Fitzwater photo. Fitzwater photo.